I'm Vod's channel. How are you guys doing? And welcome back to 60 Seconds. Let's get YouTube in here and hope this works this time. Hello, hello, YouTube. How are you guys doing? And welcome back to the live stream. Uh, we are playing 60 Seconds today. And not just any 60 Seconds. We are trying to survive for 100 days, which I think our record for surviving is uh, 70 days, which is pretty good. But I have a bunch of new strategies that I want to try out. I uh, also need to quickly fix the stream because I know it's a little broken. Here we go. I figured it out. Okay, publish stream because right now no one can see it. If you're watching this in the future, you're like, what is he doing? I'm just fixing it, fixing stuff live. There we go. I fixed it. Should be up now. Everyone should be able to watch. Can you guys check? Uh, so we're surviving for 100 days, which might take all the stream. I'm not sure. Um, if it doesn't and we finish it early, I have another thing I want to try which is I want to survive with nothing. I want to go into the bunker with no items at all and see if we can get an ending, which sounds very difficult. Uh, I am don't see the live stream. You got the YouTube notification? Let's go. Okay, we fixed it. We fixed it. Sorry if you're watching this in the future and you're like, what the hell is this guy on about? This is the These are the perils of doing a live stream. You're going to hear double right now. There we go. Um, okay, I see people show up. I just need to pull the chat up on my screen so I can see the chat in the future or um, Chat during the live stream. There we go. I see everyone. Hello. How are we doing? Welcome. Welcome Good to see you all. Uh, I have a lot of strategies and they involve Tactically killing people don't demonetize me YouTube. It's it's a video game in Minecraft uh, Draka, thank you for the 14 month super sub. So basically we're gonna take so I think what I want to do is I want to take, I want to start with Ted, take Dolores and Mary Jane. I want to try and turn Mary Jane into a mutant and we're going to kill Ted immediately. We're not going to feed Ted at all because he eats too much. We're going to try and keep Dolores and Mary Jane alive, turning Mary Jane, we, we can also do, we are also taking Timmy by the way, but Timmy is most likely going to die on expeditions. I'm sorry. We're going to send Timmy on like two or three expeditions and then if he's not dead by that time, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to censor the screen for like 10 seconds because I'm gonna have to kill him. Like, <laughs> we have to make these hard decisions uh, in, order to in order to survive for 100 days. Um, also, if you're watching this in the future, last time I streamed 60 seconds, people got mad at me in the comments that I spoiled what happened in the live stream based on the thumbnail. I don't know what's going to happen in the live stream. It is a live stream. I made the thumbnail before I did the live stream. So I put Mutant Mary Jane and 100 Days in the thumbnail today. That does not mean that that's what's going to happen. It's what I want to try to make happen. But last time I put Mutant Mary Jane in the thumbnail and then we actually got it. And people got mad at me in the comments that I spoiled it in the thumbnail. I didn't even fucking knew we were going to do that. I fucking guessed and we did it. Like, I don't know. So do, take this thumbnail as a great, with some grains of salt because I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe we're going to horrendously fail. We're going to find out. Anyway, let's hop in. We've dallied long enough. So we're going to try and play. Wait, wait, I need to check over here. Everything is good. Yes, everything is good. <clears throat> we're going to be playing as Ted because he is. So this is a thing. If you want to do this the easiest, you should play on the easiest difficulty. I think that's very boring. I'm not going to be playing on the easiest difficulty. I'm going to be playing as Ted on the normal difficulty. I don't want to do the hardest one because that would make it very difficult. So we're going to just do the difficulty we've been playing on the whole time. And we're going to be Ted. Here we go. <clears throat> do, do, do. okay here we go so we need a lot of stuff we need mary jane uh, we need all the family members a bunch of food definitely a ton of food because we're gonna have to survive for a long time let's get dolores of course dolores is very important take dolores get the gas mask yes i will even take the ammo here there's a lot of food close by that's amazing okay we're gonna take you because you're annoying as hell uh, the book is amazing. Yes, please. We can't carry that because she's she's weighing three. Uh, we take the map, of course. We really want the radio, too. Oh, God, I'm hitting everything. Radio, get some food already. We need to start grabbing some food. We're already halfway through. There's a lot of food close by, though. If we're going to want to survive 100 days, we're going to have to try really hard. Take that. Uh, I think the rest of the time we just got to spend getting food. Otherwise, we're going to be screwed. I don't think we'll have a radio because I didn't see any radio. But let's just grab all this. Uh, there we go. Boom. 
grab some water from over here. Do I see? That's a suitcase. That's not radio. Well, just take some food. We need to need more water. Okay, we got barely any time. Oh, God. Where's the radio, man? I do not see it. Take the gun. We, we don't have enough food, but we're going to send someone on an expedition. I'm just going to take this. Go. No. There was the first aid kit there. All right. Well, three try. <laughs> That was such a bad spawn, man. All the family members were far too, <laughs> were too far away. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are gonna have to get so many things. Okay, that's the radio. That's what we need. We need every family member and a million things. So get ready. Uh, I'm gonna grab Timmy right away. Timmy's gonna be our hero. He's gonna do some uh, epic sacrifices here. Don't get mad at me. Some people might die because, I mean, if we're gonna wanna survive 100 days, we might not be able to keep everyone alive the whole time through. I'm gonna grab the suitcase because it could have a, a nice weapon in there or something. I'm gonna take Mary Jane. We're gonna try and make Mary Jane into a mutant. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. It's gonna require some good RNG to happen. And we definitely need Dolores because Dolores is gonna be the last lady standing most likely. Uh, we are halfway through. We would love to have the med kit as well. Where's Dolores? Dolores is right there. I can grab you in the med kit actually. That's amazing. Uh, and then we grab radio and then it's just food radio and gun and then a bunch of food I don't know how much food we have radio this and then food 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 well, we're right next to the kitchen though Okay, take the last few seconds to grab food and two water and Another food. Yes, there we go. Okay. We gotta run. We gotta run go 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 Okay, I think that was decent. I think that was decent. We're gonna see. I don't know how much food we have, but Timmy is gonna save us. Timmy is gonna get a million food from his first expedition, I'm telling you. <clears throat> I think we did it. <laughs> that was a hard one. Here we go, baby. Let's see. Okay, day one. Um, oh no, we have this box right here. So everyone is here. Now, don't get mad at me. Some people will perish. Uh, because we need to employ some advanced strategies to be able to get to 100 days. Because that's our goal. We're going to try and get to 100 days. And not just 100 days. I also want to win with whoever is left at that time. Which might be Mutant Mary Jane and Dolores. Or we'll see. We actually got six food, four water. We want to get more water. So we should do an expedition as soon as possible with Timmy. Um, that was pretty good. Did we get any bonus? We got some bug spray. We're not going to be using the bug spray. Because we want to turn Mary Jane into a mutant. And we got the flash which is actually amazing okay being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there i agree first day is always nothing uh, now i'm not gonna do all the optimal strategies i've done a little bit of research before this and one of the optimal strategies is to constantly do expeditions or prepare expeditions but then not actually do them i thought that was kind of boring because it basically means that you skip out on half the events which is really good because on average most of the events will result in bad things especially if you get unlucky uh but i'm not going to be doing that one i just want to see if we can we can luck our way through to 100 days we're not going to feed anyone now this is another thing I'm sorry to tell you, YouTube, but you guys were wrong. I got yelled at so hard in the comments of the last few videos that I was doing it completely incorrectly. I was feeding people wrong. I was playing terrible. Uh, and people were telling me that I should feed and I should give them water and feed them every five days. Well, I looked at the world record holder of the pe person who has survived the most days in 60 seconds reatomized, And it is not like that. You have to feed them exactly like I was feeding them. Uh, you have to feed them the second day that they get dehydrated or starving which means basically on average that you have to give them water every five days but food only every seven to eight days or something like that and that person survived for 400 days so they probably know what they're doing so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna follow their their advice timmy and mary jane are in need of some physical exercise letting them run outside in the wasteland seems a bit too adventurous but they could play tag inside the shelter it's not like they have we have any expensive vases or antique dishes down here to be broken should we let the kids play no no playing also i'm not a pro at this by any means so um yeah we're just gonna see if we can do it <laughs> it's gonna be fun uh it seems like everyone's fine they're not insane yet that's on also another thing i would like to do is make timmy insane because i don't know what he looks like playing tag what a ridiculous idea this is the apocalypse it's a cruel world your every step is a matter of life or death this is neither the time nor the place for silly games how about playing something useful like hunt the roach okay um we're gonna they're already thirsty but we're only gonna give them food on day um day three so if they're not hungry 
If they're not hungry, they should get more stuff from an expedition. We're gonna send Timmy. Now, I'm sorry, but Timmy might not survive the whole run. So I'm not gonna send him. I, I can send him with the, yes, I can send him with the checkerboard because this on average can get you a lot of return. But I'm not gonna give him the mask because I don't really care if he gets sick. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of Timmy lovers out there, <laughs> but we, we, gotta, we gotta make some tough decisions today. Also, I'm not gonna feed Ted ever. So get ready to look at Ted, take in Ted's glory because he's gonna be dead very soon here. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. I will be crying if he doesn't come back because that my whole strategy is based on getting food from Timmy. So if that doesn't work, uh, it's gonna be goodbye. If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great uncle Terry. He used to tell brilliant stories about turtles, elephants, and wizard. It would be so reassuring to hear one of these stories again. And yet we don't even have a photo of him, just memories. Let's go. That's a good event. That's why you always take the book. The book might be the best item in the entire game. Rainy, look, thank you for the three months. Uh, we got the photo on the wall. Let's go. We did it. The photo you were looking for, uh, we were looking for, was stuck between the pages of the scout handbook. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it's still a wonderful surprise. Now, as I said, I don't know if I said it already, but I also want to win. I want to get to 100 days and then get a victory. So we're going to also try and get either the twins ending or the military ending. Uh, now it's time to give everyone water. So we're going to give everyone, no, except Ted. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ted. <laughs> If you're a Ted Enjoyer, as I told you, he's not going to make it very long. Mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All of these options are pretty grim, but we could use spare ammunition or something else to rid us of every one of these pests. I don't think this gives you Mutant Mary Jane, right? I'm pretty sure Mutant Mary Jane's is spiders, roaches, and green goo. So none of these. So I'm going to... This event is not related to that. So he deserves it. <laughs> you guys are fucked up, dude. Did we accidentally shoot Ted? Ted's already dead, dude. <laughs> there he is. Uh, well, our cans are safe. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Uh, rest in peace, sir. Okay, so the rest is all totally fine. Uh-oh. There it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls, or something behind the door? We don't know what it's... We don't know. And it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. Otherwise, we might get paranoid. All right. Well, I don't think I've seen Dolores be insane either. So we'll see what Dolores insane looks like. Because we can't do anything right there. <laughs> I'm not going to try and get on the world record leaderboard. No, I, th I think that's going to be impossible. Because I'm pretty sure... People are insane at this game, and I'm just very new to it. Okay, so they're getting hungry. I think you need to feed them on day 10 is when you first feed them. You feed them on day 10, day 11, and after that, you feed them like every seven days or something. Uh, we stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind the layers of the terrible statics and screams, we could hear a voice, a voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it, but what about the children? I'm not sure. We're just gonna listen to it. What could possibly go wrong? He's already back. Let's go, Timmy. What did he bring? He brought so much shit. He's also sick, but I did. He comes back and his de dad is already dead on the floor. Uh, we were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't the Soviets. Turned out it was Canadians, which isn't that much better. Either way, they're foreigners and we couldn't st understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Uh, we were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Noises in our neighborhood could only mean trouble. We decided to follow them to the source and started tracking a group of scavengers. They weren't from around here, so we took the opportunity to liberate one of their backpacks. They had about a dozen more, so they probably won't miss one. Luckily, luckily, lucky find, there were some cans inside. It's only one can, but that's okay. The outer pocket of the backpack contains a deck of cards. Let's go. When we were passing through the ruins of a bar, we ran into a soup vending machine. We couldn't find... What?! We couldn't find any spare change, so we decided to try playing with checker pieces. It worked. We got three. So the checker pieces actually gave us three soup. That's amazing. The checkers are gone. They didn't make it back from the wasteland. Okay. So a bit unfortunate because we don't have much water. So I think we're going to have to do an expedition immediately, which means we cannot send Timmy. So we're going to have to send Dolores because Mary Jane has to stay inside of the bunker. So we have the highest opportunity to get her mutant also you're sick which i'm sorry i don't think i'm gonna give him the mech kit uh it looks like said, we're gonna do this and i think we're gonna give dolores because dolores needs to live we're gonna give her the mask um also we need to feed people do we no we need to feed them in like two days this is totally fine if there's anyone who can rescue us from this hell of a situation it's our government 
You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we... Never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our eyes and ears open for any signs of them. We're actually going to skip this one, because I'm pretty sure that if we skip this, it'll come back later. And I don't want to start this... Well, I guess we could start it now. It's fine. Because we, we just want to not get to the ending too soon. Because, obviously, we want to get through 100 days, and we're only at day 8 right now. If we somehow can do this on the first try, that'd be crazy. I was thinking I would spend probably all stream trying this. Um, we made contact! The military is out there, and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this, and help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Okay, so everyone... Wait a minute. I actually messed this up. I think I have to skip this expedition, because what I was told... Uh, in a strategy guide somewhere is that if you feed someone the day before they go on expedition They will get more food. So what we're gonna try now is we're gonna just skip this expedition real quick Then feed them on day 10 give them food and water and then the day after that we send Dolores or I guess we give Dolores food now just so she's not gonna be Because oh, she's gonna be starving for two days in a row uh, We're figuring this out. I think I'm gonna give Dolores food now because I really want her to come back because otherwise we lose immediately. Because <laughs> if, if we don't have an adult, I think you immediately lose. We found this out. Easy cash to give it the seven. Someone's knocking on the door. We're only 10% of the way there. Okay, Timmy is looking terrible. I'm sorry, Timmy. Uh, Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to give her something to drink fast. Yes, 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 I will. Okay, so you're still hungry. So now we're going to do this. Now we're going to prepare expedition. And we're going to feed and give water to Dolores. And we're going to give water to the rest as well. Um, do we give water to Timmy? He's gonna die. <laughs> I think we might have to. <sighs> it's a hard choice to make. We need to feed you. I'm sorry. I know you guys, but he's sick, so he cannot... He's gonna find... He's gotta go. I'm sorry. I know you guys love Timmy, but he's gotta go. We otherwise will not make it. Knock, knock. The sound always surprises and confuses us. It could mean anything good or bad, but we're always curious. Should we open the door? Hmm, I don't think we should open the door. Using the mechan on him would be a terrible idea, and feeding him would start using a lot of stuff. He's gonna go on an adventure. He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. He'll be totally fine. He helped us out by getting a lot of food. This is all part of the strategy. I think we're gonna... Do we open the door? This seems like a terrible idea. Bye, Timmy. Is If he didn't come back sick, but I guess I kind of did that. <laughs> I made that happen. Wait, he's still here? Dude, you make me feel bad! Uh, what the fuck? Wait, excuse me? You're still hungry, but I gave you food like two times in a row? Okay, anyway. Uh, so we're sending Dolores with the mask because she really needs to live. If Dolores dies, it's Ogre. Uh, which is... He's gonna be dead. He's guilting me into feeding him, man. <laughs> what ending are we going for? Any ending after we reach 100 days. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Timmy. It's been fun. Yeah, the more people you have, the harder it is. That's why we're saying goodbye to Timmy right there. Bye, Timmy. He'll, he'll, he's better off without us. Uh, Dolores is on her way. He's going to become the king of the radioactive wasteland. Just just you wait. We're going to go out one day, and he's going to be on a big throne, carried around by, like, 17 people. Dolores is on her way out to the service. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Uh, we need to not give anything. Okay, so we're fine. We know very little about what's going on outside, and it'd be a good idea to find out more. That actually seems good. Maybe it'll help on this expedition. If Dolores dies, by the way, it's Ogre. Uh, did we get stuff from that, by the way? Didn't I open the door? Nothing bad. I guess nothing happened. We were able to get a week's signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service, service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the service now. I don't know if that applies to this mission that we just did. But we're gonna find out. Okay, so you're starving. This is day one of starving. So we're gonna feed you next time. Tomorrow we're gonna feed you. Today we've met a bunch of... Oh, this... Dressed in what looks like Halloween doctor outfits that claim to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazard of the wasteland. Now, this we're actually... Not gonna do because we have the med kit to save Dolores and Mary Jane hopefully will become a mutant and then we can just not because then I don't think she can get sick. So I'm pretty and we need the water right now. So I'm gonna skip this one because every water can be used up to three times, right? Which can actually keep us alive quite a long time. Did I was I supposed to feed Mary Jane there? 
I think tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's, it's today. We're fine. She's gonna also pick up the phone here so we can start the twins ending potentially. Uh, okay, so she needs to have food right now and then water tomorrow, right? Water every five days. Ring, ring. Here we are. Okay, she can pick up the phone. This is gonna lead to starting the twin stuff. This is 60 seconds re atomized, which is like a remake. <laughs> Just, <laughs> he's staring at me the whole time, dude. When we answer the phone, we can clearly hear a gasp of relief. So, yeah, this is the twins, which is gonna lead us to an ending. Um, but they will call us back later. Okay, so now you need water every five days. That's fairly easily or easy to understand. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We do hope the whole mess will be over soon, or else you might end up in a place much worse than this cozy shelter. Because uh, I remember when we reached 70 days, it was because basically everyone died, and then we kept Dolores alive for like 40 more days after the rest of the entire family was dead. So that's kind of the strategy right now as well. She's not hungry, right? No, she's oh, she is hungry, but that doesn't matter. Uh, we're fine. This shelter doesn't look cozy. It's amazing. The best shelter we've ever seen. We've only seen one, but it's the best one. Uh, our water is looking very dire, though. Maybe I should have gotten a little more. Okay, she's still fine. Uh, we played a game of list the things you hate the most, and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us of the little... Okay, so this could make you sick, I think, but that seems like a totally worthwhile thing to do with Mary Jane, because as we said, we might have some casualties along the way. Um, and I'm sorry, but I think Mary Jane is going to be sacrificed here. Is she going to explode? Is, is that Dolores back? Okay, she is sick. Did you- you didn't get any water! When we opened the safe, we heard a loud bang in the room filled with thick and nasty smoke that smelled of rotten necks. The bastard booby-trapped the safe! Sure, it slowed us down, but it didn't stop us from taking this most prized possessions. Take that, Ned. Too bad we won't ever get the stench of our clothes now. Okay, so we got only bullets. That is completely useless. We got the mask back. We have one water, one food. And the checker pieces, which is actually really- And an axe! Okay, never mind. The Lord's did insane. Holy... Wait, where did you go? You went to the proud. Oh, you went to a hotel. Okay. Sick. We can do another mission with you. Starvation is first day, right? You're tired. We could send... I feel like we should send Mary Jane on the mission. Yesterday, during charades, we learned... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This could be good? We are definitely going to do that. I think tomorrow we... Or we could feed her now and then do a mission. Hmm. But she's sick, right? Honestly, I have an insane plan here. Insane plan. We feed and give wa or, and give the the first aid kit to Mary Jane. We send her out on an expedition, which we might be doing a few too many expeditions. Honestly, I think we should wait a little bit with expeditions, but the problem is that our water is getting lower and lower. Mm, I think we feed her tomorrow, and then we then we wait. We wait a little bit with expeditions. Let's do not one right now. Um... Although I was wondering if anti-disestablishment could, like, fix the med kit after you use it. But I think if we spam it too much, the, the raiders are gonna start attacking us. Oh yeah, if you mark the map, you apparently get more stuff. Um, the Lord does not mess around. What started as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by a short physics course and an ending on tinkering with random objects, but they didn't actually make anything because there was nothing destroyed. Like, if something is destroyed, they can make it? I wonder, does anyone know? If you use the medkit there, can this event then repair the medkit immediately? That would crazy. Yeah, it's only day 18 and we're already struggling. As I t as I said, this was going to be very hard. So you need food. I mean, I'm going to give them both food right now. So it's nice and simple because they're both linked. They're both like synced up. You're thirsty. We're going to give you water on day 20 again. Uh, we're not going to do anything right now. The military is transmitting again. They said their first step is to locate any remaining survivors. A plane will be doing a sweep over the neighborhood. I mean, we might as well, because this might break down the line. And we, at least we have it right now. I think it's a good idea. So everyone's getting food. Food is also not that scarce right now. It's mostly just water that's going to screw us over here. Uh, we really need like a... Remember that one run we had where we got, I don't even know how much water. We had like four... The fuck? We had like 14 water and no food at all. <laughs> Uh, everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of planes engines. We were pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Okay, good stuff. So dehydration is going to be tomorrow. Mm, I'm just thinking, what do we get? Wouldn't you know it? Our dear Mary Jane keeps a diary for some reason. She was hiding it in the scout book. We, we're not going to do this. 
We have no doubt what needs to be done right now. No, we're not going to read the diary, you psychopath. Um, I think... Okay. Insane strat. Honestly, this is... I am... I'm sniffing severe copium right now. Mutant Mary Jane is strong as hell. What I think I'm going to do... Fuck. <laughs> I could send her out to an expedition. I feel like I should heal her. Maybe we should... Do they eat more when they're sick? Let's just wait. Let's just wait. We can, we can, we can keep them alive. We'll be okay. Uh, we're not going to do this, obviously. Heal her and send her. Bug spray. You can... Oh, you can send her with bug spray and then she makes a med kit. If you send someone on an expedition with bug spray, they can get a med kit. That would be huge. Okay. Let's, let's go a little sicko mode then. Do this. So if you feed them before the... Before sending them on an expedition, they get more stuff from the expedition. So we're completely healing up Mary Jane right now, which is a bit of an insane investment. But I'm telling you, it's going to work out. It's a, it's a Hail Mary play. And it also feels a little bit more... If It's going to feel very lonely if they're all going to be dead. <laughs> and it's just Dolores. Uh, Mary Jane, thank us for respecting her privacy. She then ripped out and tore all the pages, set them on fire, stomped on them, and fed them to a mutated rat outside. A bit excessive, but we feel better... Now that it's been dealt with, we wonder what she wrote about us. Uh, okay, so you get water right now. You are still hungry, but you're gonna go on an expedition. I'm gonna send you. This is insane. We're gonna use suitcase. We're gonna give her the bug spray because she apparently can turn that into a mech kit. That would be huge. Uh, yeah, Dolores needs to not die, of course, but she's also totally fine right now. Then, what else do we give them? We could go nuts here give the map because we marked the map right does it matter where you mark or is it literally just if you mark it it, it gives more because this is probably going to be our last expedition of the entire run so we need to make it count we give the book as well i feel like the book is very useful um we could do the checker pieces again i think the checker pieces is the way to go uh let's it does matter where do we mark it then just the city I think I'm marking the city. Just go look for some stuff. Okay. Uh, and this is on top. We we got an event a, uh, a few days ago where we got the, the radio that, like, helps out your next expedition. So let's hope this is going to work. Mark the water so she gets water. Like there. Or just the river like this. I mean, this was going to be long. Let's uh, mark the river. I mean, the river is going to be stinky, right? Let's mark the forest river because that might be a little bit more clean. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're going to... This is this is a very important moment. This is a pivotal moment in our uh, in our run right here. And we're going to find out. All right. Let's hope this goes well. I'm believing in you, Mary Jane. If you don't come back, you have ruined us. <laughs> okay. Because she is taking so much shit right now. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Let's really hope she comes back. I mean, if she knows what's good for her, she will not come back because I'm probably never going to feed her again until she unless she turns into Mary Jane or a mutant Mary Jane. But she doesn't know that. So, oh, come on. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. Nope. We can't do anything. Is she going to become insane? What does insane Dolores even look like? Okay, she's totally fine, dude. Dolores is crazy. She's totally fine. Doesn't shouldn't hovering show the Oh, you click on them. Tired and starving. Okay, bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We were even more tired than we were. And there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Okay, did I was she So she's tired. Was she starving? I think she, food is... We, we we desperately need more water, man. She doesn't need water right now. She's only going to need water at uh, 25. A sleazy looking... Okay, okay. So this one is actually hilarious. In the... So when I did some research for this run, they were very adamant about not doing this. The reason being... I And I we could actually do this because it sounds funny as hell. If you do this, eventually when you get past 100 days... The cats will start multiplying, which can lead to a very special ending. 
which you don't want to do if you obviously want to go to the longest amount of days. But because we are only planning to go to 100 days, it seems hilarious to try this and see what the fuck happens. So we're going to do this and then see if that leads to a special ending <laughs> or something. I'm just, I'm going, <laughs> I'm ignoring the guide right now because uh, it sounded funny as hell. Okay, we got a cat. Hello there. Hello, Sherikov. How you doing? As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its collar says Sherikov. Is that its name? Okay. Mary Jane, you really gotta come back, man. Otherwise, we're gonna be screwed. We had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know how or when. It must have been misplaced. We need to find it. Alright, luckily we have the... Wait, the ammunition got removed. That's so stupid. So we're gonna maybe get the special cat ending. Knock knock. That's potentially scary. Okay, we got the we got the bullets back. You found it. The ammunition was covered by a can. Too bad it was empty, but at least we have our bullets back. Nice. Okay. You need water tomorrow. You were visited by a young woman today. She's on a mission to rescue her twin bro. Okay. So this is the twins ending. Hmm. I guess we do this now because I don't think this ever makes you sick. We've already done... No, we've already done a little bit of the... Let's just do it. I think we'll be okay. And then we... Okay, this Mary Jane's back. Right? Let's go! Oh, she found some water! Okay, that's not a lot of water, though. She brought everything back, too. The woman quickly called a group of friends and we set out for what turned out to be a successful mission. Finding the lost twin brother wasn't a problem. He was hanging on top of some antenna next to the fence, trying to escape. In his duel with the bandit leader, he lost a hand, but the group quickly tended to his injuries and he'll be ba he'll be just fine. The siblings thanked us a hundred times and said they would definitely contact us again. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. We liked our street, especially during national celebrations. Everyone joined in and decorated their lawns and houses. Plenty of fun was to be had. The street doesn't look like it used to. Uh, that doesn't look like it will be used for celebrations anytime soon. Uh, not in the next hundred years anyway, but we had an idea. Maybe something useful could still be found amongst the rubble. What did we find? We found one food. Oh, we're finding so much food. One food, two food, one water. Okay. That's a little annoying. And we didn't get a med kit. But at least we kept it. She didn't lose anything except the checker piece, but the checker piece got turned into... Oh, we scared off the cockroaches with the bug spray, so that it actually did help us get two more food. I hope we get to trade this at any time, because we got so much food right now and, like, no water. She's not even thirsty. What the hell? Okay, so you need water. But she is fatigued, which means... Or tired, which means we can't sell, send you. Every new smell attacks our noses, so we're, we're one-fourth of the way there. <laughs> uh, every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss, so we... When a single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole and see what the s source of the smell is. So I was checking the achievements, and there's one achievement that is called, like, fully explore your shelter. This seems like it's maybe related to that. You need a lot of soup for the cat ending, yeah, but we don't want to do the cat ending for a while. Because uh, we want to get to 100 days. So let's do it and see what the fuck happens. They're probably going to ruin it. They're probably gonna fuck something up, but let's find out. Don't don't break something, please. You didn't break anything? What did you find? We found even more soup, dude. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial and an empty can he deserved that much. Okay. That's actually really good. So we have how much? 12 soup and only four what? Wait, what? I don't want to give you that. So tomorrow we need to feed you. Or can we even send them right now? We cannot send anyone on an expedition. We found some weird mushrooms. Um, I don't think we can do the weird mushrooms. That seems like a bad idea because we need the food is not required. Yeah, we're, we have a cat right now. So tomorrow, let's let's go over it again. We need to feed Mary Jane, which is totally fine. Water is just going to be very problematic. <laughs> I mean, honestly, cat. Hello, cat. The brave rat gave us some gave us some food. Uh, we may be hungry, but there's some things we don't eat. All fungus is one of them. Okay, so you need food right now, which is totally fine. Tomorrow she needs water. Tomorrow, so 
Food for Dolores. Water for Mary Jane. We still cannot send anyone. While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its... Okay, so... We can do this, right? Uh, could its previous owner still be around and were sick? Chancellor Slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit. I think it actually is always better to not do this because it'll just skip one event and make it... I mean, maybe we want to happen, have it happen slower, but we're going to skip this one for now. And we're going to keep the cat. We haven't seen any Mutant Mary Jane events so far. Um, which is unfortunate. The cat made a little made a choice to stay here and will respect it. Truth be told, if previous owner cared about the cat at all, they wouldn't have let it run away. That seems a bit rude. Maybe they weren't very good people. Maybe they weren't very alive after the nuke dropped. Either way, very careless. They're being rude to everyone who's lost a cat. I feel like that's fairly common. Uh, okay, so we need food and water. This is problematic though, because we're gonna go through our food and water s twice as quickly now. We really need to- Oh, we could send you out. I think... Do we get an event? Everything is shaking! No! That's so rude. Okay. What do we save? I feel it's either the radio or the- So this is- This breaks everything you don't save. You could either save the gas mask or the radio. I feel like radio, probably. Or- Hmm, I'm not sure. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed and give water to Mary Jane, send her out with an expedition. Um, mask, radio. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's the most important in terms of events. Definitely not the flashlight. We've already used the flashlight several times. For endings, usually the portable radio is more important. However, because we don't want to go for an ending for a while, I think having the gas mask, just in case we need to do that, like, shower event, right? I think it's better to have. Uh, the f we don't need the dog, because if you have the dog and the cat, everything goes shit to shit. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do. And we give you food. Something tradable. Oh, the you can trade the radio. Gas mask for expedition. Uh, let's just try this. It sucks that we already got the anti-disestablementarianism anti event, because that can repair the radio. This event in general is just so fucked, man. Yeah, we broke both those things. Very unfortunate, but it's okay. All right, you need water tomorrow. So we're gonna send you out there, which is just a Hail Mary here. Do we even give her anything? You can trade radio for four water. Okay, that might've been a good thing to keep then. Whoops. Um, do we even, do we send her with the suitcase? Cause I don't think, do you ever use the suitcase? What is like useless? I think the map. The map to the river. I think we... I think we just send her with nothing. <laughs> and maybe just a suitcase. Give her this because the suitcase is completely useless for us. Because I think you can use this in an event to get food, but we don't need any food. So the map can be used for other stuff. The map can be used during that like one event where the like Monty Python event where like the galloping whatever the fuck shows up. And you get like a bunch of water and food from that as well. So I think I want to keep that. Um... Give soup? No, I'm, not, I'm just, she's gonna... She might not even come back here. Honestly, it is what it is. We're giving you food and water... Wait, do we need to feed you again? Did we give her food yesterday? Wait a minute. I'm gonna food feed her just in case. Was that yesterday or was that... Because if she's... Sometimes she will be starving two days in a row. Let's just be safe rather than sorry. Uh, this might go poorly. She might not come back. But it is what it is. Oh, she can collect water. Yeah, we're not going to mark the map because it doesn't matter. Unless it matters even when you don't give them the map. I'm not sure if that matters. Um, okay. So you need water now. Let's go. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. And that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely growing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Boaches weren't that big before the war, were they? Okay. So apparently, I forgot the exact wording of this. You don't want to... You want to get the roaches and then kill them on the third event. So this is the first one. Second one you let go. And then the third time you kill them. Apparently. I don't know if that's... I don't know if anyone... I I, I, I might remember that wrong. Uh, roaches can get you water. Yeah, we want roaches. It can also turn Mary Jane into a mutant if she comes back ever. 
Uh, so let's try this. I don't know. We're, we're, we're experimenting a little bit. Cat's gonna be mad at the... Oh, is the cat gonna stop the roaches? Oh! Wait, really? We underestimate the value of a cat in this environment. We thought we had a cockroach infestation on our hand, but Sherry got to care of it while we were asleep. Was it reminded of its hunting days before the bombs dropped? Was it mesmerized by the roach's glow? Or does it just have an undeniable thirst for fresh cockroach blood? We'll never know why, but we're grateful that we don't have to deal with the insects ourselves any longer. Okay. I mean, that's fine too. Let's go. So she doesn't need anything right now. Uh, a young singer approached our shelter this morning, encumbered by two different guitars, a big backpack, and a weird contraption holding up a harmonica in front of his face. He asked for some supplies in exchange for a folk song or two. Do you want to share? I mean, we have so much food. Might as well try and see what happens. <clears throat> I don't actually know what this is. <coughs> meow meow. What happens with that? Oh, we got a radio! His songs brought tears to our eyes with good, talented Americans like that. Hopefully the times are changing for the better soon. The sounds of his guitar kept blowing in the wind towards us as we walked away. Our love for his music moved him so much he even gifted us a working radio. That's huge because we can trade this for four water, apparently. Okay, very important. Very, very important. She doesn't need any food right now. The holes in the bunker walls aren't just big enough for rats. They can easily fit a cat. We noticed that Shirikov has been sneaking outside every other night and coming back in the morning. Maybe it found something edible nearby and likes to go out for a midnight snack. If that's the case, we want in on this plan. Should we follow it next time it goes outside? Do we want to do this? No, right? I don't have... I, don't, I think I've done yes here every time. Let's try no. Let's try to not do that one. Let's see what happens. Sorba, thank you for the four months. And Alex, thank you for the 31 months. 33 days. We're one third of the way there. The cat's still here. Uh, if the poor creature wants to run around a bit and chase radioactive moths in the nuclear wasteland, who are we to say no? We need to respect the cat's independence. Honestly, we probably need to respect it, not that we're scared of any of it or anything. Sometimes it's had a certain look in its eye. Like it knows something that we don't. Best to leave it be. Okay, then. Uh, you're still not thirsty or anything. Oh, you dickhead. If only we had the checkerboard here that would be kind of huge having this just in case do we have weapons we do still have two weapons to stop a potential bandit attack um okay i th we can't do anything so there's nothing no mj is on expedition right now knock 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 please be the the monty python event that will be huge despite his best attempts to sell us all kinds of things useless and not we turned down the man's offer. It's probably for the better. He didn't look quite thrust trustworthy. Uh, or he looked untrustworthy. Okay, so you need food and water tomorrow. Okay, noted. We hear a knock on the door and decide to open. Our heart rate always goes up a bit. Fortunately, this time, it wasn't some bloodthirsty raiders. But the brother and sister that we were friends some time ago, they're quite ambitious. Together with the group, they're trying to construct a few houses and make a small camp. Okay, we can do that. So what? how many events deep are we? No? Do we skip this for now? Because I think we're going to go towards an ending way too fast if we do this. So let's skip this. Because then they're going to be back in like 10 days. And we... Because this might say... Yeah, this might break the axe, which we don't want to. And we can use it for self-defense. Yeah, we might die. Another knock. Hello? Please be the Monty Python event. Come on. They must be joking going out to the wasteland to chop wood. We've got enough troubles already. We don't need to add radioactive splinters to the list. No, thank you. Okay, I'm a little rude. We need to feed you. Okay, so you get both right now. And then you're fine again, hopefully. We welcome to probably... Oh, here we go. Crazy alleged scientist into our shelter today. Turns out Shirikov is not only an incredibly ill-mannered pet, but also the scientist's highly valued assistant, whom he calls Dr. Sherikov. The cat's disappearance has left the dog struggling with his latest project. He expects us to help him out as a compensation for keeping his helper away. The cat didn't care. He clearly wants to stay. The dog might really be crazy, but his knowledge could, is something that can help us out in the long run. I mean, we're going to ignore him, but there's, there's no button right there. Oh, is she actually coming back? Water. Oh my god, she actually found some water, I think. Nothing made us happy on the side of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. During our expedition, we stumbled upon the ruins of a familiar building, a local bank. Although a place like that might not be the ideal source of useful supplies, we decided to go in anyway. You never know what you might find, except for bags of cash, obviously. We found a shopping bag on the floor. What did I... We gave us water. We lost the suitcase. Window shop, nearby parking lots. Did we get anything else? Okay. 
That's awful, dude. One water and we lost a suitcase. That's a really bad expedition. I think that means we are going to have to say goodbye to Mary Jane unless we... Oh, we have to feed you because we fed you yesterday. Um, oh, what's this? The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick, seriously sick. Okay, so we have to use gas mask here. Otherwise, everyone becomes sick even though she's already sick. Uh, yeah, one water is four uses. I thought it was three uses. Isn't it three? I'm pretty is it I'm pretty sure it's three. Um we could send Dolores, but that's a bad idea. Did someone get cha wait, 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 does it say here? Um you never know. Window shop nearby parking lot. It doesn't say like anyone chased us, so maybe we can still go. I guess we don't have bandits yet, which is huge. Um anyway. You what was I doing? We obviously do this. It is four uses. Okay, nice. Four is good. That I didn't. I thought it was three, but that is. I mean, I guess we could keep her alive. She's sick though again. Wait. Oh, that heals you. That's huge, dude. I didn't know that heals you. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If you can survive a little bit longer, dirty ears shouldn't be much of a problem. Wait, Mary Jane could actually stay alive. Okay, that's incredible, and it didn't even lose our gas mask. That's why I wanted to keep the gas mask right there. Okay, wait, that's amazing. Uh, start she wasn't starving yesterday, right? So that's we give her food tomorrow um, We have a working radio. Why not use it? Maybe we'll you be able to catch a broadcast or two You're gonna break this Don't you? But if she if Dolores becomes insane, we lose the game. There's nothing we can do So I think we have to just prey on the fact that they don't break this radio because even if they break this radio We have somewhat enough water to survive for a little bit at least so I think we're gonna have to go with that. So we give you food tomorrow, right? I think we're risking it. Please don't, please don't break it. Knock, knock, knock. Okay, you're still, let's go, it worked out. Never punished. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We can hear nothing but the annoying static, nice. Okay, so now you need food. Tomorrow you need water. Okay. The cat wandered out of the shelter and returned with a small note from the crazy scientist, urging us to help him with this next project. He's building some sort of vehicle contraption, but gave us no details. He only wrote that if all goes well, we can use this vehicle to get out of the wasteland. The doc told us to start stockpiling for the trip. I will never give you anything. Fuck off, sir. Um, so we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. I don't want that ending either way. Tomorrow you get water. All right, noted. We're not even halfway there, by the way. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a tough one. Okay. I think having two people so we can send Mary Jane on expeditions is actually kind of good. So now you get water. You need water tomorrow. <clears throat> so we can actually send Mary Jane. You see the other radio broadcast from the military. Apparently they wouldn't be arriving when we expected, but they suggest us they won't be long. However, survivors were requested to render assistance by bringing gas canisters to the nearest bus stop for military vehicles to use. We suppose we could do it, but not without a gas mask. Who knows how long it'll be it will take and we don't want to get ill in the process we could just not do anything for this and then just go for cat ending <laughs> like just try to get the cat lady ending um but that means we're like gonna survive we're gonna try and survive for even longer than 100 days feed mj for a prep we could mary j might be willing to go but will she make it Honestly, we could just send Mary Jane. The question is... I feel like we should wait a little... Let's go for cat ending, yeah. Let's skip this one. Fuck you, military. Uh, the question is, should we stick around for a few days? Hoping that we get some Mary Jane mutant events? I think we should. So is it true that mutant Mary Jane cannot get water, though? And only food? Or how does that work? I'm gonna skip this. Fuck the government. What the fuck? We felt it was too risky to help the army without using a gas mask. It seems our rescue will be a bit overdue. The fuck was that? You need water. Hear yeah, that noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. The one that's been locked tight ever since we got out of got to the shelter. Okay. So this is like a I've never had this turn out good. This is always like an alligator or something. Does this have a chance to give you something good or not? 
I have also never really seen it break anything. Like, it's just like a nothing event. I think we'll check just to see. Maybe it'll give us some water. Don't axe it. I mean, it's only the axe always works. Okay, well, we'll try. I don't want anyone to get hurt or something. But let's hope. We give you water. Yeah, I mean, we get a knock again. Exploring more of the bunker. Oh, yeah. Wait, these, we're doing all the events to explore the bunker for the achievement. What the hell? We barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile or an alligator or something else with a giant mouth and plenty of teeth. Is anyone hurt? No one was hurt, right? Everyone looks fine. No, what? I used the axe. Does she got hurt anyway? That's so annoying. <laughs> well, I think Mary J might not be surviving. Whoopsie doopsie. Uh, was it first day? How the fuck did she even do that? Mary, please. Um, we could send her. <laughs> Honestly, the dog came knocking. Why do you want water, sir? I'm not gonna give this to you. Um, I don't even have it. I think we should send Mary Jane. There's like a 0% chance she lives, though. And then she's fucking dead. Can she become mutated when she's hurt? Or do we save them for a little bit? Let's give them food right now. I think it is worth it. Oh, yeah, it is. You can use each four times. Let's give them food. We got the. I'm gonna skip this. Fuck you. Please. So many knocks. Holy shit. Maybe something will heal us randomly. Maybe we should have done the doctor event. The guy's a bit too nutty. Uh, you all don't need anything. You always steered away from Chris. Okay. So when I stayed away from casinos, gambling dens, and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a tube water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. Oh, baby. <laughs> this would be huge if we win. But if we lose, we are fucked. <laughs> oh, man. If we lose, we have to send Mary Jane. Do it. Gamble. 90% of gamblers quit before they hit it big. All right. I mean... Even if we lose, we have Mary Jane. We can send Mary Jane and then maybe Dolores as well and potentially still survive. And it's just the most exciting thing to do. Come on. Come on. We, Because if we win this, we can like play it way safer. Let's just try it. Come on. Please. Did you break your pants? <gasps> it worked! Let's go! <laughs> okay, huge dude! Haha, <laughs> Lady Luck has smiled on us. We won a vicious game of war. The man wasn't too happy about it, but he delivers, delivered on his promise. Let's go. What was that tearing sound? Okay, so we have more than enough water now. That was huge. Now we have almost six water to go through. Uh, dehydrated? She wasn't dehydrated yesterday, right? It was a card shuffle? It sounded like something tearing apart. Um... Right? She was fine. Yesterday we fed everyone, right? So we do food, we do water tomorrow. Uh, we could do some extra supplies. Last time we went on the supply run, we noticed a damaged tank. Okay, so this could kill Mary Jane, but this is super worth it. Super worth it to try and get more supplies. If Mary Jane dies here, I salute you. Don't die. Don't die. She got hurt again. Wait, no, she was already hurt. Let's go, dude! Looks like an ar like army rations also because there's mostly of canned tomato soup and bottled water unless someone else left the supply. We are in such a good shape, man. We're on day 44 and we have more than six food and six water. This is nuts. Okay, you get water right now. You get water tomorrow. Okay, we are in incredible shape. We're not going to do it. What was this? We're happy to open the door today and see some friendly faces. The siblings. Okay, so we can do this later, but we're still going to skip this for now. Uh, we can do this when we get closer to 100 days. We're skipping the twins for now. Steel Eagle, think of the 31. That's amazing. We're at day 45. We're almost at day 50. And we are in incredible shape. And we still got two people alive. This is the worst idea we've heard all week. Um, what's going on? The crazy scientist is back. Stop. I don't want to do this. No, go fuck yourself. All right, so you need water now. And then food tomorrow, right? Because she wasn't starving yesterday. Let's just sync this up again so we know it, so it's easier. Let's let's sync that up. And then we, we need to pay a little bit more attention. I'm pretty sure we don't need to feed her there, but I just want to sync up the water and food. 
Yeah, we have a lot of food because Ted isn't eating anything. <laughs> what if we eat Ted? Uh, the doc is getting on our nerves. Okay, so you're fine now. You're in agony, which means you die. No. No. Mary Jane. Mary Jane is restless and lonely. She really misses her musing lesson and would love to visit her high school again. It's a little further than Timmy's school, but it could be worth a trip. There could still be some supplies there, or maybe she runs into some other kids. It's risky, of course, but it might be the worst, not be the worst idea ever. We got to do this. Her last wish. <laughs> we have to. So agony means she's going to die, potentially. So let's give you food and just spray. I mean, maybe it might not be worth it, but let's do it. Go out with a bang. Goodbye, Mary. I mean, we kept... Uh-oh. <laughs> well... Mary Jane promised to be extra careful. Hopefully this little trip will lift her spirits. At least she's not dying when she's not here. These are dire circumstances we found ourselves in. Supplies are running low, and if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else will. We know for a fact that one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door, and there might be some supplies inside. Of course, there's a chance the neighborhood neighbor and her kids managed to get there in time, but we could really use whatever they have, and we're stronger. Okay, so this right here uh, will ruin the twins ending but i don't give a shit about the twins ending anymore because we have other options and we want to do the cat ending anyway so let's kill the kids <laughs> and get the water <laughs> hey it's it's a killer be killed world out there <laughs> we get the bloody hand we get the bloody hand print the bloody hand print which means the twins hate us now we got four food! We are now richer in some supplies, but for some reason we don't feel very good about it. Let's just never mention this whole thing again. Let's go! We got more than freaking 13 food. That's crazy. Okay, that's definitely worth it. I'm sorry. Uh, the nutty doc, stop coming here. I mean, we can always do that if we need to. Do you need anything? No, you don't need anything. Okay, we're in a good spot. If, if the, the, uh, Mary Jane comes back, holy shit, here she is. What did she get? Nothing! Finally told the widow to leave us alone. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the service. Uh, she didn't bring anything, though. What the fuck? Okay, so we give you food, so we have so much. Tomorrow, we need to give you food and water. Uh, we should do an expedition immediately. Wait. Because she's in agony, which means that if we can send her on an expedition, she can bring back a little bit of stuff before she dies. And otherwise, she dies anyway. <laughs> we gotta... We got it. Nice. Uh, Mary Jane didn't find anything noteworthy in terms of supplies, but she did have a look at the school registry and found an address of her favorite music teacher. She now insists on paying him a visit. It's nice. It's a nice older gentleman who might be in need of assistance in these tough times. It will be a pretty long walk and obviously not the same. But should we agree to this? Oh, sure. Well, we'll do that instead then. That seems better. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully this won't count us. We're day 50. We're halfway there. She's... Oh, God. What happened? We started to worry, but Mary Jane found her way back to the shelter. Oh, wait. She doesn't leave. There's no reason to worry about her old teacher. One thing she neglected to tell us is that her... He's a hardened war vet. He is doing just fine for himself. He was very happy to see Mary Jane alive and gifted her one of his musical favorite harmonicas. She tried to play a little song for us, but fell asleep halfway. The trip really exhausted her, but at least her mood has improved. Oh, no. We can't send her now, so she's going to die. I mean, the, the harmonica can be used as self-defense. Come on. Please. Can we get... Can we get a mutant event? Soldier sent another radio message? No, stop it. I was really hoping we'd get the mutant event. Oh, she's so fucking dead. Rest in peace. We tried. All right, you get food and water, obviously. Rest in peace, Mary Jane. She's gonna leave. There's nothing we can do. We tried. We don't have a mech. No, Mary! <laughs> Mary Jane's injuries were... Wait, she actually... Oh, wait. Mary Jane's injuries were enough to make her angry at us, or at least the fact that we decided to not do anything about them. When we got up and found a note from her claiming she deserved better and she had to leave for Canada because it was a better public health care system. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So, that's, I mean, 50 days that we kept her alive the whole time. That is totally fine. Oh, here we go. We can get two water. Wait, 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 wait. Offers one water. 
What do we trade? One water for cards? Do we trade this? Or do we trade book? I think... Is the book gonna be... The book is gonna be useful, right? I don't think we do the book. So we just trade... The cards or the bug spray? What do you guys say? Cards or bug spray? What's the... What's the least important? Bo book is too useful. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Cards are not very useful. And we already got... We already got the cards event, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's, let's trade the cards. Because we already traded... We already did the, the gamble thing. So this is not that useful anymore. Uh, and then we get more water. Dolores is in insane shape here. She has all the food and water ever. And we have the cat set up for cat ending. Let's go. So we have so much right now. We're not going to send Dolores on an expedition. We felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The Fang Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. Where we were moving things around. We found a secret door. We have to do this, right? To get the potential uh, explore your shelter achievement. Because we've been doing... This is the third event for exploring the shelter. And we've done, like, exploring on every single one of them. So let's try it. They don't need food, right? No, no food yet. You need a mech kit? I know. But we don't have it. Just as Jews, they give it the 10 months. Did we get anything? The, the thing didn't break. Figured the best way to be sure nothing and no one jumps us inside the mysterious room. Was to bash the door open and start firing. When the smoke was gone, we were able to assess... Our operation. The room was empty. We hit nothing but the walls and we barely dodged one ricochet gone wrong. Okay, that's fine. No food yet. No mission, obviously. You would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since you know most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet here we have someone at the door. We open it up and we encounter a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asks us to train him a water chip. Okay, so this event is fucked. I, this event I don't understand because... Some, like, it seems messed up either way. Like, sometimes you do it and then you get nothing, and other times you don't do it. It never gives anything, but I remember even if you skip it, he still, he sometimes steals something, right? Like, if you don't give him stuff, he can, he can steal even more water. Doesn't he, didn't he do that last time? I swear last time when I did this event, he gives a gas mask, but I already have the gas mask. It gave you something once. I mean, I really want to keep the water. So let's keep the water. Let's hope he doesn't get mad and steals a bunch of water though, or like beats us up. That would be terrible. It's a, yeah, I know it's a fallout reference, but it's good if you don't have gas mask. Okay, we're going to skip it. Please don't kill me. Please don't make me hurt. I'm going to die. Did he do something bad? What did he do? I heard. Okay, she, she's still fine. All right, we were starting to explain that we didn't know what a water chip is. Okay, nothing bad happened. Let's go. <laughs> So tomorrow we're gonna have to yeah tomorrow so every five days now because they're like synced up together which is nice um today during breakfast we started we were startled when their map slid off the wall we checked the nails holding it but they were all firmly in place it could be a poltergeist maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it anyway in the wall behind the map we discovered some sort of safe we were curious as to what treasure might be behind it should we open it should we open it? I don't remember having... This seems like more exploration, right? Mm. I feel like we should do more exploring of the shelter. Because we can't really do much else, right? Because we're not going to leave. All right, we'll do it. It can take stuff. That would be bad. Let's try it. Let's hope doesn't... Let's hope nothing explodes. Uh, so we give you water and food tomorrow. Please don't die. Don't break anything. Let's go! No stone unturned! Fully explore your shelter! Nice! So, <laughs> let's go. Did we get anything? We got, dude! We have everything! Wait, we have padlock, harmonica, gun, and axe, which each of those can defend against one bandit attack. So we can fend off four attacks, and we're already on day 55, which is huge. Okay, we're gonna give you food and water, obviously. Um... Felt like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least it looks like a rat. A rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it. Or to put it more bluntly, it's either him or us. Us. Okay. Uh, we should probably do this. Uh, but the question is, which one? The gun seems very dangerous to shoot a rat. I would say axe is the most easy to do. <laughs> like, to hit a rat with an axe is easier than shoot it with a bullet. Let's try. But she's gonna get hurt. I mean, she could get hurt with the gun as well, right? Uh, let's hope nothing bad happens. Otherwise, we're in potential huge trouble. 
If then we the cat might do something as well. Hopefully we'll be fine. Nothing broke. Everything is all right. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty. Holes. Okay, we're fine. Let's go. No, nothing required. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting at our fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his, in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry man enter. So th we're definitely not doing this. We're way too rich. Fuck you. <laughs> oh yeah, this. if you have like nothing, you get a bunch of items from them. But when you have anything, they will fuck you up. So we're obviously not going to do that. <laughs> Ghost MJ. It's knocking. Hey, we're honestly in a really good spot. We didn't answer because they freaking suck. Look at this man. Look at the supplies we got. It's insane. And we still can do another exp Wait, what? Hear that? It sounds like a herd of animals are stampeding just above our heads. Across what used to be our beautiful lawn. They are not getting away with that. It might be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Nope! We have a million food. I do not want to potentially hurt Dolores to get food that we already have anyway. There's no way. I think this food can last us until like... What? Did someone come in? A hunting excursion sounds way too risky. What if there are no... What if these are not your average animals, but mutant spider lions or worse? Wait, I heard someone come into the shelter. Is it a ghost? We need to feed her tomorrow, I think, because she wasn't... You can get up to three food. Yeah, but we really don't need it. At, bre at breakfast, we heard a knock at our door. It was a man with a rather excessive number of arms. This is huge. He had told us his group was having a hard time finding supplies, but wherever they need... Wherever they'd go, they got shot at first sight and asked questions later. It's probably because of their appearance. Their friend, friendly mutant presented us with an offer. In exchange for some supplies, this folk would escort us on our next expedition and make sure we come back safely. This is amazing. Like the best event ever. We get a free scavenger hunt next time. So we know that we can do a scavenger hunt in case we need to with Dolores. And we have a million food, so it doesn't fucking matter. So this is actually amazing. Uh, question it. I needed to feed her tomorrow, right? She wasn't... We need to keep an eye on that, because if I accidentally fuck it up, then she's just dead. <laughs> Which would be bad. That's a huge. That's amazing. What an event. The flashlight got broken, yeah. I forgot what broke it again. Uh, oh no, it was the earthquake event. Alright, so you're gonna help us next time. Now you need food, and then water tomorrow. Let's go. We're not gonna go. Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with, a, over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join something called Astro Citizen. Which, by the way, this is related to 60 Parsecs, which is their second game, uh, which we played recently. But we refused. Now he just wants supplies and says he will reveal some state secrets to us in return. I mean, we have a lot of soup. So we can just do it and see what happens. Honestly, I don't think we're ever going to run out of soup. So let's try. I think we should try every and all events that we can, like, use soup for. <laughs> we'll see. It's Dee Dee from, from 60 Parsecs. It's day 60 already. Did we get anything? We are generous, so we share our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit. Or rather had, since according to that guy, it exploded when the bombs dropped. How convenient. The working space station, what a joker. He was probably so hungry and dehydrated, his brains started playing tricks on him. That's exactly what happens in 60 parsecs, by the way. You should check that video out if you want. Um, where we... I did insane in that game. I got an ending on my very first run, which I did not expect. Uh, okay, so we need to give you water right now. Uh, we're not going to send you out. Soldier said... Okay, so we can do this again, but we're not going to do it. We're skipping these because we can always do them later. Let's go. 40 more to go. We're on track. Totally. Felt it was too risky. Yes. So you need nothing. Mysterious sounds are coming from a radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Do we want to tinker with it a bit and find the right frequency? It could be something important, or it could be the opposite. So this can break your radio, and I really want to keep the radio so we can trade it for four water lately, potentially. So I don't think I'm going to do this. Plastic turtles, they go to the 29. Uh, no, no tinkering. Please don't go insane. Please do not go insane. If you go insane, I am going insane myself. Okay, you're fine. Totally, totally okay. Uh, you need food tomorrow, right? 
Because yesterday there was nothing. Uh, interesting. Do we need the bullets for anything? What is better, bullets or flashlight? I feel like flashlight might be better. I don't even know what you can use the bullet for. The cat prevents insanity? Really? Bullets make you use the gun? Can you can use the gun a second time? That's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe we should save that then. Okay, sure. Shower event, but we get the gas mask, right? I mean, we, we're not going to get the dog anyway, so that's the main thing you need the flashlight for. So, I'm just a little scared. I'm... I just keep forgetting it, and we have so much food that I just don't want to risk it because I'm losing the run because of that would be stupid as fuck. Doesn't matter much. Just need to put it in my brain better. Need to get into a rhythm. Uh, all right. Although the girls are very brave to walk around the wasteland like that, sadly, we didn't have anything... They didn't have anything of interest to us, so we declined their offer. I'm sorry. Uh, nothing right now, so tomorrow we do nothing. They offer... M oh, this one. Wait a minute. I think this is actually gonna be... I think we're gonna give up the book. I think we give up the book for the mech kit. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type. It was probably her guard. She told us that she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she brought along. Because I really think that the med kit... There's so many events that could get her hurt and then we're fucked. So having the med kit just... And this basically ensures our victory. I, I think it's definitely worth. We got a free expedition. Yeah, but even then. Even then, I think that's that's useful. Okay, so we have the book. Which the book, the main reason you would keep that, I think, at this point is to do the twins ending. But we can't do the twins ending anyway, because anyway, we already fucked it up. Okay, tomorrow is water time. Um, you can barely breathe in this damn shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeably worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Maybe it's stuck. If that's the case, we need to look into fixing it right away. Okay, so this event can make you sick even if you use an item, I think. So I'm glad we have this, <laughs> but I think we should do the bug spray. Let's pray that it goes well. Don't make her sick. I don't want to use the... Meow. meow? Does the cat help us? Don't get sick. She's not... Wait, where's the cat gone? We decided to spray the hell out of the vent. Just to be on the safe side. Turned out it was the right thing to do. A couple of mutated insects fell out, followed by a gust of fresh air. Wait, where's the cat? Meow? Nothing tomorrow. No food tomorrow. While outside, we found something resembling a fridge. We carried it eagerly to a shelter, thinking it made for make for a useful addition and a way to turn room temperature tomato soup into delicious ice-cold tomato soup. Excited, we pressed a bunch of buttons, trying to find the combination that makes cold happen. While we were distracted, the cat ran past us and slid into the appliance. We tried luring it out, but it seems intent on staying in it. There are worse uses for a broken fridge than a cat house. <laughs> this is cat ending? Wait, but we... Don't tell me it's gonna immediately get an ending. We want to get to 100 days. Uh-oh. Don't you dare do this. Oh, we're fine. No, we're fine. We get a cat. Okay, never mind. We're all right. We're all right. Wasn't this supposed to happen after 100 days? I've been lied to. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, if we can get the cat ending, that would be something new. Uh, wait. Oh, what the fuck? There's another cat. <laughs> we have two cats. <laughs> Excuse me? Meow, meow. Okay, okay. Something is happening. Uh, we need... Nothing tomorrow. Nothing tomorrow. As we were considering alternatives to canned soup, the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty bad shape. All they wanted to was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages and medicine to intend to their wounded. I mean, we should do the food. Or do we need a lot of food for cats? Um, I don't know what this does. This is not twins. It can't be twins. Oh, this is... I'm assuming this is... If you don't do this, you are evil. Uh, but we are already evil, so it doesn't matter. Or does this do... Does this give you anything? Does anyone know that? Because if it doesn't give you anything, then we don't really care. Uh, it gives you nothing? All right, well, fuck you then. Go out. Get out of here. I don't want anything from you. Skip it. 
Oh no. <laughs> now there's three cats! Okay, well. <laughs> okay. Baron, Vera, and <laughs> Sherry Cuff. Goddamn cats! We can tell our guests we were thrilled with our refusal. Their tired eyes alone were enough to understand how much they needed those supplies. They did not beg, but simply turned around and left in an unknown direction. Maybe they'll have more luck elsewhere. Whoops. Okay, you need food tomorrow. Uh, there's nothing more annoying than silence, and that's all we're getting from our radio. No music, no talking, nothing. Is there anything we can do with the radio to make it work again? I mean, I guess we could do this now anyway. Might as well. Well, no. So... We can do an expedition. I lost two cans. No, I didn't. Or are they eating food right now? We could do an expedition. Continue reading. Oh, maybe. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Another cat showed up in the shelter overnight, and with it, another soup cat has disappeared. We don't know why these cats keep coming, but we can't seem to get rid of them. God damn it. <laughs> it's the true cat ending. I didn't know there was a true cat ending. Okay, so now the question is. Do we uh, go on expedition to prolong the game? Because <laughs> I'm assuming that during an expedition, there won't be any more cats that show up. So then we can do an expedition. I, I don't know how this works. No, don't do it. Because <laughs> we, we have a safe expedition, right? But then they're going to steal all your food. And lose shelter on expedition? No, but we should be fine because we have the lock. It's a free expedition anyway. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then we're going to give you food right now because if you feed them before an expedition, they get more stuff. Um, I think this is an okay idea. Because then we because there's a cat coming every day. And we want to prolong it slightly. I want to get at least... Oh, there's another cat. <laughs> Cats everywhere! <laughs> Wait, she's going crazy! Wait, it's the first time I've seen Dolores be crazy. Wait, I didn't even know what she looked like when she's crazy. Oh no, just when we thought it couldn't get any worse. Now there are three new cats in all, in, in all and three empty soup cans. How do we stop this madness? No. <laughs> she's because she's a crazy cat lady. What the fuck? Okay, so we're trying. <laughs> she cannot die. She cannot die. What do we give her? What do we even, what do we give her? She cannot die because we have the free expedition. <laughs> and it'll probably take a few days so then we at least pass by, um, the map maybe? Map with, like, watermarked might be a good idea. I mean, I don't know if we needed water anymore. Give her a cat. Give her axe. No, but she doesn't need any weapons because she's got to have the, the mutants follow her, right? If this shouldn't kill me, otherwise I get mega. Otherwise it's mega fucked up. Let's give her a map. Sure, she'll get map. Let's see. Here we go. How is this gonna work? Day sixty nine. Nice. Uh, this is definitely new PB though. Okay, she's mega crazy. <laughs> hey, see, wait, there's another cat even. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? All right, it seems. This seems highly suspicious. With four new animals in the shelter, we're starting to think Shirokov's new home might not be just an ordinary fridge after all. Maybe it's some kind of secret cat communication device. That actually worked exactly how we wanted it to. We we just got like an extra five days uh, added to our, our record. We're probably going to get screwed over here before we get to 100. But hey, that means we can just have to try again. And it's hilarious anyway. The last expedition brought news of a vehicle. No, we can't do this. Sure looked unique, but we never got close enough to get a good look. Most certain it's not a bandit trap. Perhaps we should send someone over. Also, by the way, what happened here? Sorry, I didn't even read. Um, all right, this seems... Yeah, yeah, so that... We used one map. The friendly mutant group lent us a hand, as promised. We felt much safer with them around, and everybody made it back without a scratch. We hope we'll get the chance to meet that group again. Someone tried to break in while we were away, so we lost this. So that's why the padlock is good to have. Um... Our house is in ruins. We still haven't paid the mortgage. No need to worry about that now, is there? The least we could do is pick through whatever is left and see if there's any useful items. Maybe one of Timmy's comic, Timmy's comic book survived. Don't make me, don't remind me of Timmy. Okay, so we got two food, two water and bug spray. Okay, that's actually amazing. The more food we have, the more we can feed the... <laughs> the more we can feed the cats. 
All right. You're crazy. You're hungry and tired. Oh boy. I mean, I'm gonna give you a meal because it doesn't matter. <laughs> what are we doing? Are that, yeah, so we're not doing this because we don't want to do this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Day 75. <laughs> Come on. Can we get to 80? Oh, there's even more cats. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It might be very well be a trap set up by some bloodthirsty thugs. We're not about to fall into their hands willingly. Let's let this go for now. The owner of the vehicle is bound to appear eventually. Uh, okay, so you're still hungry. I gave you food yesterday. What the fuck? Let me guess. They ate another one. Last night, we slept with one eye open and we saw it. The thing is no refrigerator. It's a cloning device. Early in the morning, there was a small flash of light emanating from the machine and another vile creature materialized right next to us. When will this end? Do we even have enough supplies to feed all of these hungry mouths? <laughs> I mean, honestly, we I'm glad we have so much food. He sees another radio broadcast. We're not doing it. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Infinite cat glitch. Come on. <laughs> so, look at this guy. <laughs> what the fuck? He's so cute in the corner. Look at that dude. Uh-oh. Uh, Cherkov, we see you sitting in the cloning fridge, making imper imperfect clones of yourself each and every night. We don't know why you chose to torment us. And take away our precious soup to give to your brothers and sisters instead. Did we hurt you somehow? Or is it just your very nature to sit in every single box-shaped object the world has to offer? No matter what the consequences might be. We still have food, but it's gonna run out soon here. Maybe we can do another expedition. Oh, no, we can't. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in f a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided direction to it. Should we send someone to investigate? Will this have a chance at killing her? Because then I don't want to do this. But if it does, then it seems huge. If it doesn't, it seems huge. It cannot kill her. Because then it seems free. This could give food. I don't think so. Because if this ta it takes another few days, we can actually potentially make it. I'm, I'm not sure. It can give food. That would be amazing. It can't kill her. All right, let's try it then. Imagine we die now. This is she's crazy. And even if she gets hurt, it's fine. Because we have uh is there another one? It's look at the Wait, what are the We need to check names. We got Dear Me. We got Sherikov. Who what's your name there? Your little buddy in the corner. Okay, we, we lost more. Wait. Paul guys Paul so we have Vera, we have Myth, we have Dear Me, we have Rad, Sherikov, of course, we got Matt, we got Baron, and we got Palka. Okay, we don't know how much longer we can go on like this. Not only is our food rapidly dwindling, but we are also starting to question our sanity. Maybe we're all just hallucinating. Okay, so we lost the map. Whatever. Okay, my food is starting to run out, man. We're <laughs> hungry, crazy, tired, thirsty. Ay, ay, ay. No! What? You bitch! The fucking Monty Python event right after we break the map, you son of a bitch! All right, well, rip. Boop, boop. That goes. That goes. That one. <laughs> That's so rude, dude. Oh, learn to serve and obey. What the fuck? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Excuse me. They have cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? We got solid. We got Asia. Okay, so that didn't work out quite as I expected. It was supposed to happen only after a hundred days. It turns out the cats have taken over and she has turned into crazy cat lady. Hey, that was totally worth it though for a new special ending. Although we tried to decline politely to get blah, 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 blah. Okay. They just keep coming. We give up. Please make it stop. The cats have instituted their supreme regime upon our shelter. With them as our guardians, we don't need to live in fear or despair any longer. The days of happiness are coming and we'll be handsomely rewarded with relative peace and enough soup to feed our hungry bodies as long as we remain obedient and serve them. We welcome our fluffy new overlords. <laughs> How many days was that? That was 78? God damn it, stupid cats. <laughs> 77. There we go, 78. Hey, that's a new PB though, for sure. And that means we have to run it back and try to get to 100 days. That's still absolutely golden. And th can this only happen if you have Dolores? Because Ted is allergic to the cats, right? What a beautiful ending. Look at all these beautiful beasts. This is my, that's my favorite. Palka's my favorite for sure. All right, well, 
Uh, here we go. <laughs> you survived, kind of. <laughs> Incredible. All right, 78 days. We can do better than that. We got lucky with those expeditions, though. Five successful expeditions. And that kind of proves our theory, were, or that proved our, like, theory that it actually works this way. And we can try again. Uh, this time, we probably won't be taking the cat, though, because we know it's going to lead to this again, goddammit. And Dolores is an absolute tank. All right, here we go. We can do that. Best ending. <laughs> that was cool, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it really a... Yeah, how could that be a bad ending? What the fuck? All right, here we go. New game. This time, we're going to get 100 days. And maybe we can also get... Um, we can get a Mutant Mary Jane, right? That would be sick. One second. let's go never seen that ending yeah that was great <laughs> all right this time though 100 days mark my words we are gonna do it <clears throat> here we go I wasn't, I didn't select Sarbomba. Okay, here we go. Uh, we need many, many things. We also need all the family members, which they're pretty far away. That's unfortunate. Harmonica would be good, I think, as well. Anything that can stop bandits. All right, Mary Jane, you're going to turn into a mutant. I'm telling you. Mutant Mary Jane would be insane for this. Wait, this is actually pretty close. Dolores is going to be our ultimate survivor. She's going to make it to a thousand days. Mark my words. We need Timmy as well, because Timmy is going to be doing all the early expeditions. And now we just need as many things as possible. Even the checkerboard will be good. Yes. Checkerboard gun is over here. Bug spray. I'm literally destroying everything. Bug spray. Throw that here again. Now a bunch of food. Radio as well would be nice. Gas mask. But I'll just get a bunch of food. We definitely need water more than food even. Uh, med kit in the... Oh, med kit and radio there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need water. I'm going to get med kit and radio. And then it's time for water, a water trip. Where is any water? I don't really see any water. Uh, I'm gonna run over here, I guess. Wait, I need water. Water, water, water. I see water right here. Water right here and then map. Map is good too. Oh God. Well, I guess, oh, here we go. Okay, uh, we don't have much water, I don't think, but we have a lot of useful equipment and we're gonna do some, uh, some expeditions as well. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> I think we'll be fine. Okay, we do have a lot more water than I expected. Okay, so... Wait. Let's see. We got the book! That's huge! We can remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. Nice, the book. That's actually a really good item, so that's amazing. And we have five water, five food, and a bunch of extra stuff. Gas masks so we can heal people later. This looks like a decent setup. I think we can make it 100 days with this. Okay. So first of all, no one needs food on the first day, obviously. Uh, we're gonna immediately do an expedition and Timmy is gonna go crazy. Now, if you watched the last run, which uh, we did not make it to 100 days for hilarious reasons. If you want to watch that, you can watch it yourself. Uh, the previous 60 seconds video. We are gonna do an expedition immediately. It's very dangerous, but Timmy is gonna go sicko mode. I'm telling you. And I'm even gonna feed him right now because apparently if you feed someone the day before you send them on an expedition, they get even more 
uh, stuff back from the expedition. So we're gonna do that. Do we have the checkerboard? We do actually have the checkerboard. That's like an item you want to send them with because you get a bunch of stuff. It's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen circumstances consequences when you don't see them coming well they are unforeseen by definition so that does make a lot of sense we can't say we were prepared for what happened what are you talking about <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about okay so we're preparing expedition for tomorrow we believe in timmy yes yeah let's get these 100 days we're gonna try and keep mary jane and dolores alive for quite a long time and then dolores is gonna obviously survive until the very end okay so now we're gonna send timmy we're gonna give him you would want to give him the checkerboard here if you plan on keeping Timmy alive the whole time through. However, I am sad to announce Timmy might not make it to the end. Uh, we're, he's going to be an honorable sacrifice because he's the best at expedition. So we're just going to send him out there until he perishes. <laughs> okay, everyone else is fine. Let's go. He's going. T yeah, Timmy is an absolute legend. He's going to bring back so much water. Mark my words. Okay. Um... Then we went out to the wasteland. He'll come back. He'll come back with a ton of stuff. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. Oh, this could be huge. There are no water. We swear some of them are coming. Keep coming back and they are bigger every time we see them. It can't go on like this. It's time to wage war on the spiders. This could give us mutant Mary Jane. Come on. That would that is like the ultimate get for the hundred days run, please. Come on. Here we go. You bees! We decided we could get rid of the spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we had was achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. God damn it. We're gonna get it though. We're gonna get more chances. So they're dehydrated. It's day five. Everyone gets water except I apologize. If you're a Ted enjoyer, uh don't look right now. We never thought we'd see a light. Wait, we're getting all the Mutant Mary Jane events, dude. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still have them, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. Good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they're huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. We're not going to do this because this can also lead to Mutant Mary Jane. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we're getting even more chances. Let's go. Take two. I don't think it gives you a right away. You have to wait a little bit. You have to get a few cockroach events. Okay, so Ted is dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, it's fine. He's, he just eats too much. If he didn't eat this much, we could try and keep him alive a little longer. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roach is everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Okay. Uh, call those bear, but we think those roaches are trying to communicate with us? Is it possible? They are now our intellectual equals. Maybe we could turn them into a cheap labor force to support our survival effort. Once a capitalist, always a capitalist. We're getting so many. This can give, I think, mutant Mary Jane. So let's hope for it. Please don't make us sick. Are they starving? They're still not hungry. All right, come on. Please. Rip Ted. <laughs> give it to me. Oh my God! Let's go! <laughs> Holy shit! On day seven? Are you kidding me? Okay, this run is insane, dude. Okay, all right. This is not a drill. Mary Jane, here we go. Talking to the products of our imagination is one thing, but talking to roaches, come on, we're better than that, aren't we? What the hell? Mary Jane went to bed her normal self, and now she's all mutated. Oh, Mary Jane, what happened to you? Dude, this game is insane. Okay, so... We need to feed her immediately, because otherwise she's going to kill us. And that means that when Timmy comes back, we're just going to send Mary Jane out over and over and over again. Surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We hope this will blow over soon and the life will be back to what it used to be. Or else we might face dangers we've never dreamed of. Okay, this is incredible. <laughs> Let's go. Look at her. Oh, phone call. We're no I don't know. Do we even do this? I think we have to, because otherwise they become insane. But then we're going to... We're probably going to become evil this time i'm sorry um they don't need any food you already got food ring ring there we were thinking we could never yeah okay so we're gonna send obviously we said mutant mary jane rah, 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 rah. wait can't you do that <laughs> what if you let mutant mary jane pick up the phone call will that do something special i'm kind of curious <laughs> like can she even talk anymore let's try it out let's see what happens <laughs> oh is timmy back Timmy's gonna be sick though. Yes, he's sick. All right, well, what was the. Wait, he got so much water! When we answered the phone, we could clearly get a gasp of relief from the caller to introduce it. Okay, so it's the same? 
From a nearby town of Hill Valley, we had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Okay, so there was no special event. That's fine. We were sort of afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We thought the metro station could be a good spot to scavenge for undamaged supplies. It turned out that someone came up with the same idea. There's a group of people living down there that use bullets as, bullets as currency. There's no, There are no bandits. But they keep to themselves. They told us to have a look around if we wanted to. We wouldn't pass any opportunity to get some more water. We found the toilets. We did not hesitate to fill as many bottles as we could with that murky, irradiated liquid. What a treat. Two water is huge. The metro station traders took a liking to our clothing. Uh, we were always proud of our dress sense. But in our opinion, during the apocalypse, you never say no to a package of fresh ammunition. Also, you can probably manage just fine without your undergarments, so we quickly came to an agreement. Wait, you traded your <laughs> your underwear? Your group living at the station had thrown a bunch of suitcases, backpacks, and bags to form a big pile and called it a barricade. We carefully took out a particularly nice-looking suitcase. It was quite tricky, and we came close to collapsing. And it came close to collapsing. That ho or the house of cards. But thankfully, we did not ruin the whole thing. Okay? Dude, Timmy, you're nuts. I told you Timmy is cracked. He got two water, bullets, suitcase, three soup, and he he got the he, he traded this probably. And we were passing through the ruins of a bar. We ran into a soup vending machine. We couldn't find any spare change, so we decided to try paying with playing paying with checker pieces. It worked. So the checkerboard is huge for getting a bunch of supplies. Now this expedition got us thinking maybe we could just drive away from this nightmare somehow. Of course, most automobiles available are completely burned out, but if we Find a solid base and scavenge enough parts. Perhaps we could build a vehicle of our own. Better keep an eye out. No, no, no. Okay, so now the question is... We send Mary Jane, right? On an expedition? The wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. I think Timmy might die, though. <laughs> Dehydration. It's day 10 that we have to give her water, right? Because we gave... Right? It wasn't water yesterday. She wasn't dehydrated yesterday, right? I mean, it has to be. Because we gave her water on day 5. And that means we have to give her water on day 10 again. Yes. Okay. Just making sure, because imagine we die now. That'd be so stupid. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about nukes raining down on her hen house. Too bad we don't have a photo of her. Or do we? We put some photos in the book a while ago after the giant copy spill incidents. Let's go. Okay, so we give... We do book. That's amazing. We're gonna send Mary Jane. This is actually insane. And we feed her right now, so she gets even more resources, right? This is this is insane. <coughs> Don't die. Let's see. We knew it. The photo between the pages. We got a photo of the Aunt Ada or whatever. That doesn't matter. So now your ass is going. Mary Jane is going. She can't take anything, but she's got to do crazy. I, last time I remember... So she doesn't even drink, right? She doesn't even get any water. She just eats food, right? So you need everything, right? Does she even need food? Wait, no, she was only dehydrated yesterday, right? You're starving today, so we need to give them both food tomorrow. She definitely needs water, because it's day 10. Every five days they need water. Um, yeah, she only needs food. That's amazing. So you need food. So they both need food tomorrow. All right. Noted, noted, noted. Let's go. This is amazing. He's going. <laughs> Special mutant ending. That's actually amazing to get that so early. I remember last time we got it at like day 40 or something. Uh, all right. They both get food. <clears throat> Do we even... Is it time to say goodbye to Timmy now that we have mutant Mary Jane? I think it might be... I know we all love Timmy, but he is sick and tired and starving and dehydrated. I think it's time to say goodbye. I'm sorry. I know we all love Timmy, but we have mutant Mary Jane. So the thing is, we're never going to send Timmy on an expedition anymore because we have mutant Mary Jane. So Timmy is just dragging down the rest of the team. I'm sorry. Oh, seven. Here we go. It was, it, it's been an honor serving with you. Our hideout was approached by a man who didn't know. We didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bet of two water bottles. That would have been interesting, but we don't have the cards. All right. Goodbye, Timmy. 
It's been an honor. <laughs> He's still here. Don't make me don't don't make saying goodbye even harder than it already is, sir. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of examples that to set the kids? Please, maybe I'll get food again. This it's two times in a row. What's that in your pocket, Timmy? Glowing ads? What the hell, Timmy? The terrifying little mandibles always give Dolores a heart attack. She wants them out, but Timmy says at the beginning of an atomic ant farm. One of them has to have their way. Well, obviously Dolores, because she's the only one staying. Come on, man. Keep the ants as a <laughs> way to remember Timmy. There he goes. Goodbye, Timmy. It's been an honor. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Well, it is what it is. Okay, nothing tomorrow. There's an armed and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts the wild beasts of the wastes. And right now, she's on a trail of a giant mutated spider. We're pretty sure she's lost her mind. What are you going to do with that spider, lady? Put it on a leash. She promised that if we help her, she would return to f the favor or not a day. Definitely. I think this either helps you with an expedition or it gives you food. So, I mean, we don't really need the bullets anyway. Uh, so, let's do it. <clears throat> There's no chance it comes back. I don't think so. Once it says like an X on their marker or on their portrait, it just means they're dead, basically. But they don't kill the kids because that would be fucked up. We agreed mostly because we're kind of curious what she's planning to do with that spider. What she catches it, she doesn't want to say. Maybe one day we'll find out. All right, tomorrow she needs water. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. Uh, we could do. So this is military. This starts the military ending. Which might... Because we're not going to do cat ending this time. Because, spoiler alert, we did that last time. And it was hilarious. Um, I think we're going to do... We could start it. I think starting it is a good idea. And then we'll pause it like eventually. We just ignore it after a while. I think that's what we do. <clears throat> yeah, cat ending was amazing. Beepity beep, beepity beep. Yeah, the military ending is also very long. Because I do want to actually try and win eventually as well. Mary Jane is still out there. So you need water and starving, so she needs food tomorrow, right? Because she didn't need food. She wasn't starving yesterday, I don't think. We are about to finish our dinner, if you can call it that. When we heard someone knocking on the door, it seems to be a traitor who is very interested in ammunition. Well, I just gave it to the lady with the fucking spider. Mutated Timmy, imagine. Just a whole mutated family. That'd be amazing. Lady, thank you for the 23. There, she's back. What do we get? Oh! We could tell the stranger was disappointed, but that was none of our business. If ever it was a time to get used to the life to life being disappointing, the end of the world is probably it. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the servers. She get a flashlight. She get food. Water. Let's go. Food, water, and the flashlight i didn't even know she could get other stuff let's go okay so she needs food now i know that every time after an expedition you have to feed her for sure you get food right now let's go do we just send her immediately again <laughs> like will this eventually i know you can defend yourself against bandits with uh mutant mary janes as, as well we do it again yeah sure i mean we have to wait eventually i think we do one more time and then we should probably pause for a little bit. Wait, so that is no match for Mary Jane. Um, two food, four water in exchange for one gun. That might be worth it. Is that worth it? Then we basically have enough water to keep Dolores alive forever, right? Then the question is just, I mean, on, the only one who gets, who uses water, let's think about this, right? So we have eight water. Each water can be used three times. So that is 16, 24, 32 times that we can use water. You only have to give water every five days, which means this is g enough to last us for, I don't even know how, like, fucking 150 days <laughs> math very long 160 days yes so we don't need the water but we can also trade the water in many events and we can get a gun other ways 
So the question is, do we just want to have more water than we can ever need? Or do we want to save this? Because the gun, honestly, having the gun so that we can defend off bandits so we can send out, yeah? You guys still say deal? More water? All right, we'll do it. And then we never need water again. And But then we really, food, you need more? I mean, we really don't want to give up the gas mask, that's for sure. Uh, we don't have the chicken Ooh. pieces. Ooh. I don't know. Because the fact that, I mean, we, then we, I don't think we need it. The fact also considering that Mary Jane is going to be getting more water, I honestly rather have the gun. I'd rather have the gun than, because we have, like, if we didn't have this much water, then obviously, but because we have so much, I think it's better to have it. And then we send Mary Jane again. So sorry, we're going to, we're going to keep it. Did I fuck up? No, I didn't. I thought I, yes, we kept it. Okay. There we go. So she got food, right? Is she still hungry? Still hungry. We will. F Do we feed her again? But we already fed her the day before, right? And now we're sending her, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um. I think we just send her, obviously. She's always hungry. No, she's definitely not always hungry. She will come back hungry no matter what you do, right? And feeding her now doesn't matter because we already we fed her the day before. So I think we're fine. I think if we send her out, it doesn't matter for her coming back with more supplies, I don't think, unless I misunderstood it. Uh, so you don't get anything tomorrow, which is good. Let's go. Is there anything special? No, he just hates everything. All right, go, go, go. She's going to do insane. Can she eat Dolores? Potentially, I think. Day 18, and we're already in this good of a shape. That's amazing. Okay, so you don't need anything tomorrow. We know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more. Wait, this is good because this helps you on the next expedition, I think. I've never seen this go bad. So let's hope that it doesn't. I think we're fine. Yes. Dude, this run is awesome. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be safer to travel on the surface now. So now next expedition is going to be slightly safer, I think. She needs water and food tomorrow. Okay, water and food tomorrow, check. Received a mysterious note today, politely requesting that we share some supplies with other survivors. We have no idea who it might be. So this is twins ending. I'm not gonna do this. Fuck you, I don't want you. Get out of here. I don't want the twins ending. We'll do military ending or we'll just do figure out another ending. We'll figure it out some way, but I don't think I wanna do this one. Um, Cause it just costs food and we need to keep the food for staying alive as long as possible. <clears throat> so you're you're out of here so you need everything today let's go someone is very serious about banging on that hatch we are scared to open it but it might be some good news right we would gladly welcome any friendly face even if it was our neighbor ned we're pretty sure that if there was any reason why our town got bombed he'd be the reason shall we open do i would say no i mean what could i don't know what this does I don't think this is a good idea considering we have like I don't know maybe it'll give us equipment but I really don't think this is a good idea also fuck Ned <laughs> yes for water I mean this is obviously an event that can go bad or wrong I don't or bad or right we really don't need more like we we are in such a good spot I think we should try to stay safe stay safe don't take too many risks because we got mutant Mary Jane right who was going to carry us the whole round uh, the banging stopped after a while. Let's go. You are totally fine. Nothing tomorrow. What's that sound? This is the Monty Python event. Let's go. What's that sound? A galloping horse. We rushed to the door and we were greeted by two men dressed in what in dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they got lost and they would be most grateful if we could let them check our map. Provided we have one, let's go. This always gives you good stuff, I think. This can actually give you the gun. So that would have been, I guess, if we knew that event was coming, we could have traded it, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, what do we get? We got bullets. They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us enough for just some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted them and wished them luck on their quest. Let's go. Uh, you need nothing tomorrow. As we're about to start our book club discussion, we own... On the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by a rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast, just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies we could spare. So we skipped this last time. 
and it didn't really do much. I don't think we do it this time either. We are we are like so perfectly balanced, like all things should be. Uh, I don't think it's worth being nice to these people. <laughs> Sorry, fuck you guys. This can uh, this can fix being crazy, but we're not crazy, so whatever. Yeah, mutant Mary Jane is gonna come back, as I told you. What do we get? Oh baby, what you get for us? Uh, we can tell our guests are, yeah, we're not happy. Nothing major is happening on the side of Mary Jane returning to the shelter. We get two water. Okay, just two water, but that's okay. We really would like, so she gets food now. Uh, you get nothing. We, do we just keep doing this? I think we should wait a little bit. Let's do the next expedition on day 30. Does that sound fair? I feel like we should be careful at least a tiny bit. You ever catch the military broadcast again? This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal the... I mean, I guess we'll continue this. I think we should wait a little bit because otherwise the bandits are going to attack us like really, really, really quickly. And the bandits, like they will ruin... They will kill the run before we get to 100. So we need to space out the expedition slightly more. And we have a like a decent amount of food right now to, to last a little bit. So let's just stay a little safe so no one gets anything tomorrow um so we'll do this <clears throat> send timmy did it take think of the three he did well we didn't even break the flashlight let's go everything was going as planned but then the flashlight stopped working but we it worked again in time let's go All right, you need food and water tomorrow so now the question is so is there any mutant mary jane experts when i got her last time i would feed her every time after she came back from an expedition and beyond that i would only feed her when she said starvation which worked for me but people said that i should feed her every time she's hungry because otherwise she gets mad but it worked for me to do it the other way so i don't know maybe i got insanely lucky i don't because i she also says starving i think you i think we did it like that last time and there was no problem whatsoever so we can try it again I mean, feed her to be sure, but the problem is we'll eventually run out of food. Evie's the father. Thank you for the $20 donation. Thank you. Uh, I just don't know how it works. I don't know if anyone is, is like a pro at this game and a mutant Mary Jane expert. She will only get mad af and leave after a certain event. We're not sending her on a mission right now. We said we would do her... Uh, send her... We can't just send her okay we'll give her food right now i don't know people are saying we should send her but we're not doing i said on day 30 okay here we go this sleazy looking trader carefully carrying an equally scruffy bag this is the cat event where you can trade a cat uh, a soup can for a cat we did this but eventually you get the cat ending forced on you so we're not gonna do this right now i'm sorry cat lovers but it's just gonna lead to the exact same situation we have to skip out on this for now maybe mutant mary jane can kill the cats but that seems like a terrible idea either she will leave if she talk to her what you don't want to talk to her no paka this time i'm sorry <clears throat> sad meow <laughs> her hair is so crazy her grandparents always told us to never buy anything okay so you get food and water you better not be hungry okay mary jane is not hungry anymore let's go we're still not doing an expedition Situation is simple. We're bored. It's too quiet and we're desperately craving entertainment. The solution also seems simple. Somebody could give our old harmonica a spin, but who is the best suited to give a high-quality mouth organ concert? A decision has to be made. How about Mutant Mary Jane? <laughs> I'm curious. What could totally go wrong? She's gonna give the most beautiful concert of all time. Did she break it? She didn't even break it. Mary Jane volunteered eagerly. It's obviously she really misses her tuba. She spent a few hours trying to remember all the songs she used to play and writing down the notes. In the end, she was too tired to actually try to play any of the songs she wrote down and just fell asleep. Well, she can't be tired, right? No, yeah, she can't be tired. That's so good. So she, she bypassed the tiredness because she's a mutant and she can't be tired. Okay, so we're still waiting. It was never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. We thought it would be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later and plan a trip outside before we could make the third step beyond the sheltered doors. An unknown creature started growling at us. Okay, so this is the dog. We'll use the flashlight at least. I don't think you get for forced into anything crazy. 
Let's use flash touch so we see, um, we say hi to Pancake real quick. <clears throat> oh, we don't get him yet. That's later. Uh, we decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for a, for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. Right, you need nothing. You're hungry now. Hmm. I really don't... I wish I knew this, because this is a huge difference. Like, feeding her every time she's hungry or feeding her every time she's starving. That's just... I mean, in the end, I don't know how much more that ma matters it definitely uses up more food let's just feed her we feed her now and then the next time we have to feed her we prepare an expedition i think that's the way we do it that's the way we're gonna do it you don't need anything tomorrow uh you would expect the post apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since you know most of the people aren't around anymore yet here we are have someone at the door we open up we encountered a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit okay we're not doing this because fuck you this is the Fallout reference thing, which always ends up bad. Um, so, skip. Yeah, she brings food. Not always, though. That's a problem. She doesn't always bring food back, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we didn't get anything. Okay, so you're not hungry anymore. You're starving, which means we feed you tomorrow. Uh, when we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was a note on it. The neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? So this can make you sick, but it can also give you food. We have a med kit, so we could open it and take the 50-50 for sickness. Um, I mean, we are running out of food relatively fast. I think it might be worth it. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? No? Hey, what's up, Katie? It's a risky event because it makes people sick if you get unlucky. It can also insta-kill you? Alright, never mind then. <laughs> it can it can be explode? Okay, well, never mind then. <laughs> no, if it can explode, it's definitely not worth. Alright, never mind. Scratch that. We'll feed her tomorrow. <laughs> Lol. It can be a bomb. Everyone's sleeping. Snoring. Snoring away. Okay, we're not doing that. So now you need food and then water tomorrow. You're still not hungry. Found an unsigned letter today. The stranger asked for... Okay, so these this is the twins ending over and over again. We're gonna skip it. I'm sorry. Water is tomorrow. Um, that's all tomorrow. Wait, what? What was that sound? Also, I should probably click this. I don't know how this works. I'll click the map because people always say, Click the map! Click the map! Um, so you need water today. You're still not hungry. I'm gonna send another expedition when Mary Jane gets hungry. When she gets hungry next, I will feed her and prepare an expedition. I think that's how we do it. Wait, did she get scratched? Oh, she's fine. She's just dehydrated, which we are giving her water right now. Okay. Uh, we took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided direction to it. Yes, we can send Mary Jane because this doesn't... I don't think she can get hurt, sick, or hungry, or crazy. So, this effect can make you hurt, I think. Or this event can make you hurt, but she can't be hurt, so that shouldn't matter. So, I think that's just a freebie, then. Did Mutant Mary Jane is crazy? She is so OP. She just needs food, always. What does that do for us? We got checkerboard. Let's go. Fun following the map clues. Despite the grim post-apocalyptic surroundings, they brought us to an old tree with a hollow in its trunk, which, uh, which contained a set of checkers. That's a lucky find. Let's go. You are hungry right now. Okay, so we give her food and we prepare an expedition. I think that's what we do. And then no one eats food tomorrow. There's a man at our doorstep who wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms, so... So this is that event that will... Uh, they ask for supplies. They would repay us by helping us fight off the next raiding party. Oh, the next raiding party? Wait, that's amazing! Yes, totally! I thought this was gonna help us on an expedition, and I was like, do we need that, yes or no? But that is amazing! Because this means that we have an extra defense against... Um against raiders because raiders is our main 
like run killer here because we have mutant mary jane which basically makes expeditions op but expeditions cause uh bandits to attack over and over again which means that if we can prevent that it is perfect all right so we're gonna do that and then you get food you don't get food tomorrow all right let's go yeah she can definitely kill you though as well i think if you don't feed her like she goes crazy and eats a bunch of extra food which will then end up starving you it's good to have some friends in this cruel empty wasteland a few of our supplies and it's a small price to pay when it comes to the safety of our family let's go right, you don't need anything you don't need anything tomorrow either you're going out there have a good trip mary jane now, i wonder if it would have been worth to do it if it was an expedition like i don't know if it increases the stuff you get from an expedition i doubt it mary jane went outside let's go all right you need food tomorrow food tomorrow the more we know about what's going outside the better for us sure We'll tune in. Don't break it. Don't break the radio. It didn't break. Did we get anything? We were able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to a very energetic and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned a few helpful tips that should make it easier for us to survive the next expedition. I mean, Mary Jane is going to survive no matter what. Okay, you need food right now and water tomorrow. So water tomorrow. You couldn't get a clear signal from the radio until midday, but after we tuned in on a military broadcast, we were left speechless. Not only did they deliver on the evacuation promise, they also ordered us to dispose of all our firearms. I'm not going to do this. Fuck you. Because what we can do, actually... Wait, this is huge. Can't... I don't know if this works like this, but... Can we... Um... Get a bandit to attack us. Get rid of the firearm that way. And then we skip this event because we don't have a firearm. Does it work like that? I'm not sure if it works like that. But I'm going to try if that... I'm not going to do it yet. Yeah, MJ can eat us. That's why we're... The dog is back, by the way. Doggy. We decided to ignore the stupid orders. Uh, so you need water today and then nothing. Tomorrow, scratching on the door could only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. We raced to open the door. Not considering it might have been a mutated beast, but luck smiled at us. The furry fellow seemed really tired and hungry. Should we feed him? So the problem with the dog is that he will take way more food than he gives you. This is... I was reading up on the... So there's a huge difference between the original 60 seconds and 60 seconds re-atomized. In 60 seconds re-atomized, they have massively nerfed the dog. The main strategy you would do in the original 60 seconds to get to as long of a day count as possible was get the dog, which could then basically sustain your family forever. Like, he would get a bunch of food always, and it would cost almost nothing to feed him. But in this one, it costs more to feed him than it gives you in return. So I don't think this is worth it, sadly. And we already have a dog mutant mary jane so <laughs> i think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to say goodbye sir especially considering we're already no low on food so we're gonna have to skip this one right now uh we already give you water nothing tomorrow <laughs> the dog will be fine out there don't worry he's gonna eat some mutated cockroaches <laughs> the last thing we were going to do is to feed strays and we have barely enough to keep ourselves alive none of us are very happy about it but that's how it is feels bad man I do need food tomorrow. Some nasty mutated raccoon-like animal shows up around the shelter door almost every night. We try to sneak up on it, but it jumps away and hides as soon as we open the door. Thankfully, we took the scout book with us. There are instructions inside on how to make a basic trap using a box and some string. We don't have an empty box laying around, but we do have a suitcase. We This can even... You can get food from this, and sometimes it doesn't even break the suitcase. But I don't think the suitcase does much anyway, so I'm just going to do it. So food tomorrow for... Um, for Dolores. It didn't even break the suitcase. Look at that. And we got food. We rechecked the trap in the morning. The raccoon scratched a big hole in through our leather suitcase and escaped. Weirdly enough, we found some supplies in the broken suitcase. Was this the animals doing? Or did we just simply forget we put it here? So let's go. We get free food for literally no cost whatsoever. We get food today. Nothing tomorrow. On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawing on a half-ruined wall nearby. It's a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup. Shoot, we go check. Hmm, I would... I think this might be... Uh, can this kill you is my question. Because if it can kill you, I don't think it's worth it. But otherwise, like, even if it can hurt you, it's fine. Vanilla, thank you for the prime, by the way. It can kill you? Are we sure? 
That would be bad. <laughs> Skip 100%. How would it kill? I feel like that would be kind of fucked up. I mean, I guess it makes sense that sending anyone outside can always kill you. Damn, but the soup, though, we could get so rich here. It's just like we are already in a good spot that if this ends up... Like, if this has, like, a 10% chance of killing us, that would be, like, so annoying. Because I really don't want to... I really don't want to lose the run. So let's just... Yeah, the soup, though. I know. I don't know. I don't know if there's an easy way. Is there, like, an easy way to, to find out what an event does? Like, is there, like, a, a database somewhere? Like, a wiki where you can look it up? Because <clears throat> I don't want to, like, I don't want to die. <laughs> soup, yeah, soup would be amazing. That's why I think it's, like, really worth. There's a lot of, there's a list of events. The worst, because I'm not, I'm, I'm okay with looking this one up. Because, like, we're trying something really hard anyway. And it's not like we, like, we're, we're preparing for the worst, right? Even if it's, I just want to know what the worst outcome is. Because if it's the worst outcome is getting hurt, that doesn't matter. Like, we might still get hurt. We might get punished for it. It's not like we're cheating. It's just... Um, I don't want to die. Like, if there's a death event, then... I, if people said the worst outcome is getting hurt. But that might just be... I don't know. This is normal difficulty. Normal, normal. Is there a difference between these type of events? If you play on hard, do you fucking die? Tired or sick? Play it's, I mean, it's play it safe. Not doing this event is not playing it safe. Because not doing this event means that we're missing out on food that could... Like, we're only on day 37 right now. We're not even halfway through, dude. You've died doing this event, but what's that on the hardest difficulty? All right. I guess we just skip out on it. Uh, I would really love the food. It is a bummer, but I just... Uh, people, it just seems to be a very... Uh, no one knows for sure whether this event can kill you or not. People are saying the wiki says it gets. Oh, wait. The wiki says you get tired or sick. Tired or sick is the worst. Okay, then we do it. All right. Well, let, uh, tired or sick doesn't matter to me. So let's try it. I, I really hope she doesn't die because that would obviously be horrendous because without adults, you can't survive. So let's just. I, I wouldn't even mind if she gets. Like, I totally want to risk her getting sick. I get, we even have a mech kit, so let's just do it. Please do not kill me. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Okay, I think we're fine. As long as that doesn't set the, say the end there. Okay, she didn't even get sick. Did we even get anything? Oh, we got... Uh, this huge! Lucky find, we were afraid the map was a trap, leading us straight into a camp full of bandits, but it turned out to be true. At the end of the path, we found some supplies that might be helpful to us. All right, let's go! It, we were so stressed out for no reason. <laughs> It worked out totally fine. Okay, she doesn't need anything tomorrow. Let's go. We got even more defense against bandits. We have four bandit defenses plus... So we, we actually have like... So four from the weapons. From the gun, the axe, the harmonica, and the... Wait a minute. I don't know if this is accurate, but I heard somewhere that if you have the harmonica, it works infinitely against bandits. I don't know if that's true. I, I, I heard that somewhere. That the harmonica can be used infinitely as long as you have mary jane but that might be that might not be correct um they offer cards for a radio or water for harmonica i don't think that's worth oh it can break okay so we have at least four uses from all our weapons then we have the mutants which is five then we have mary jane which is another two so we have seven defenses against because when you have mutant mary jane you can use her twice the first one will not kill her. The second time will kill her. So we that's how we lost Mutant Mary Jane last time. So you got to be careful with that. I don't think we're doing this. Fuck you guys. Uh, do we need to feed her tomorrow? Nope, nothing tomorrow. I'm just going to keep what I have right now. Yeah, you can only use... On this, oh, she's back. Hello there. What did you get? You got a bunch of water. Um... We got a bunch of water. Did we get any food? Okay, so we're not getting much food right now, which is very concerning. Damn it, Mary Jane. You gotta get us some food, man. Okay, you're dehydrated. We need to give you water tomorrow. Dang it. We can just... What we can do is wait another, like, two hunger events before sending her again. So we don't just get spammed with bandits really, really quickly. I think we do that. When we opened the shelter today, we saw a letter lying on the ground. Okay, this is the twins again. We don't want to do that. 
So water tomorrow. I'm not doing this. We're not. They're not sending the lords. That is way too risky. That one thick boy. Thank you for the prime. Maybe if we had like the sure certain exploration, it might be fine. Uh, let's see. Do you need water right now? You're still hungry, which I will feed you, I guess. Bit unfortunate. Hungry, dehydrated. That's fine. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces them like selves, like, introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Isn't this the, like, Wolverines or whatever? Aren't these always good? I thought this was the Wolverines. These are, don't they always give you something? Like, there's no bad outcome here? Should we pick a different place on the map? Let's pick the city yeah they're, they're the guys that give you a gun or maybe some food i don't know let's just try it i think we'll be fine because we always have Mugen and mary jane to stop whatever's trying to kill us right let's see please give me food that'd be huge they didn't give us food they gave us water you regretted opening the door the minute we saw it was standing on the other side dark faces rifles and determined look of a band of teenagers we're doomed we thought then out of the blue, one of them asked if we were with the Reds. We never supported the Red Sox, so we definitely said we weren't. The tension dropped immediately, and those nice young people gave us two bottles of water. They also told us to have no fear since Wolverines are around. We're not sure what Wolverines have to do with all of this, but we took their word for it. Okay, so that's actually... We have so much water, so water is not going to be a problem, but food is. Star... She wasn't starving yesterday, right? I'm pretty sure she wasn't, and I gave... I don't think so. So what I think we're going to do is... She was? Okay, let's give her... I mean, it's fine. Let's give her food anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to have Mary Jane be hungry one more time. We're going to feed her. Then the next time she gets hungry, we send her out again. We're going to, like, do it like that. What was that? The, did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try soon tuning in. Sure. Yeah, we have a ton of water. Uh, Knock, knock, knock. Hello there. Is this bandits? No, right? Hopefully not. On the way through the static, we found a transmission that was hosted by some nut talking about conspiracies and saucer man from Mars abducting people. It was pretty amusing. Right, so you're fine. You're not hungry. A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with a, all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claimed he's a trader looking to barter for items he requires. Why don't you get any food, man? I would totally... I would actually have traded food. Maybe even for the book, but I'm not gonna do it for water because we definitely don't need any fucking water. We can survive like 300 days with the water we have, so definitely not. Man, if only he needed food, that would have been huge. Okay, so tomorrow no one needs anything. Yeah, it's we can swim in the water we have right now. It's far too much. Damn, we're still only at 43. <laughs> That's a long way to 100 days. You need... Okay, you're hungry right now, so let's prepare an expedition. We're gonna send Mary Jane out there. Um, and let me keep you in here. The coded note was left on our doorstep. It's all symbols and numbers, some sort of cipher. It will need to be cracked before we can read. The letter, Dolores seems eager for this challenge. However, it's hard to tell how long this could take her and it could prove to be a waste of her time. I think this is like a multi-part quest that can make her very tired and I think even injured, but it leads to a lot of food or s and stuff. So we're definitely gonna try that. Um, I think that's super worth it. So no one needs anything tomorrow. Just noting that down. We're preparing an expedition. Pretty sure that's good. We really need, uh, food though. Like, if Mary Jane doesn't come back with food next time, we could be in huge trouble. Doris instantly sat down with the code and started working on it with a purpose. She looks very focused. Let's hope the note is worth staying up all night for. Dolores looks very tired already. So she's now going to be tired. We need to give her water tomorrow. And Mary Jane is going out on a mission. Here you go. Mary Jane, you got this. Come back with some food, please. You re really need some food. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Day 45. At least we got infinite water. All right. Water is... So no, nothing tomorrow. We couldn't get a clear... Oh, okay. So this is asking us to get rid of our weapon again, which... We could, but it's still only day 45, right? It's just that there might be many events that can give us another gun. I just, I just don't think it's worth yet. Never, never. Don't ask an American to get rid of their gun. It's like asking to get rid of their children. Come on now. Shit's ridiculous. What do you think I am? 
Knock, knock, knock. Is that gonna be the doctors? Doctors would actually be kind of useful. You said they ignored a stupid artist. Who's trying to tell us what to do with the U.S. government? Well, they probably are, but that doesn't mean they can take our gun over our dead bodies. Okay, so food tomorrow. A woman to get by. Why do you fuckers only want water, dude? I don't need any fucking water. I need food. Imagine I could trade for food for the... <laughs> Or the freaking the radio that would be sick. All right, well, so food tomorrow. God damn it! Very annoying. Asking a British person to stop drinking tea. Similar. Uh, okay, so you get food now. Check. It felt weird, but today we had to revisit the terms. It seems that our little green pest guests are trying to communicate with us. One was even holding something that resembled a sign. You came in. We come in peace. What on earth do they mean? So this gave us the Mutant Mary Jane event. I'm sorry, but I think it's time to get rid of our cockroachy friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. Time has come. I don't want to get sick from you guys. Finish people to stop going to the sauna. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Scandinavia has a love for saunas, don't you guys? You communicate with the leader in the one language we're sure roaches understand. Violence. You need food tomorrow. Slazy looking Oh, this can come multiple times? Interesting. Oh, well, we're definitely not doing that. Uh, all right, starving. That's tomorrow though, pretty sure. Let's go. Almost, uh, almost day 50. We're doing okay. We're doing very, very well right now. So you need food right now and then water tomorrow. See, the mysterious note that they put... No, this is the twins ending. We can always pick up the twins ending again as well, but I think we're gonna do military more likely. There she... Come on, please food. Please food. She might have gotten one food. She did. Nothing made us have... Okay, one food, two water. <laughs> God damn it, Mary Jane. Can you get some more food, man? All right, you get water today. You really need more food, God damn it. Wait, we can't even prepare one? Interesting. Why? Mary Jane is restless and lonely. She really misses her music lessons and would love to visit her high school again. It's a little further than Timmy's school, but it could be worth the trip. There could still be some supplies there. Or maybe she runs into some other kids. It's risky, of course, but it might not be the worst idea ever. I think this one is free. This is like a free expedition that doesn't even tr attract bandits, I don't think. Maybe it does, but uh, I think that's totally worth it because this can lead to a bunch of extra supplies. Let's go. I'm going to feed her. And then you don't need anything tomorrow. Let's go. That was a pretty insane event. She is gone, but she's gonna come back. Uh, Major promise to be extra careful. Hopefully this trip uh, will lift her spirits. So you need nothing tomorrow either. And door to door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaflets. Okay, so this, we did this last time and it didn't do anything. He wants supplies and he says it will reveal some state secrets in return. This doesn't do anything, I don't think, but we have so much water, it literally doesn't matter. So we might as well try to see if something happens because <laughs> there is nothing to... But tomorrow we don't need to give you any food or water anyway. It's just a free attempt at maybe getting something. Maybe there's a rare chance. Uh, let's see. We didn't get anything. Be generous. We are generous, so we share our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit, or rather has. This is like a reference to the, the 60 parsecs. I think that's the only thing it does. Okay, you need nothing tomorrow either. Okay. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss, so when a single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what source of the smell is. So I think this can break your radio if you get unlucky. Um, but it can also give you food potentially, so I'm gonna go for it. I don't- and maybe it can even make you sick, but we always have to mech it. But I think food is like- oh, she's already back? We got food! We looked into the hole fearing something might come at us with claws or fangs or mutated sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat, uh, into a can of tomato soup. He felt miserably, but we have a feeling we might be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the red a proper burial and an empty candy dish if that much. Let's go. She came back. What did she do, though? Mary Jane returning from the shelter. Uh, she needs food tomorrow. You need food right now. 
Uh, Mary Jane didn't find anything noteworthy in terms of supplies, but he did, she did have a look at the school registry and found an address of her favorite music teacher. She now insists on paying him a visit. It's a nice older gentleman who might be in need of assistance in these tough times. It would be a pretty long walk and obviously not the safest. So, this can give you either a gun or bullets, but we already have both. So, I'm really curious what it's going to give us now. If it doesn't give us anything, I'm mega scammed. But let's hope it gives us something. I have not tried challenge one, no. It gives us maybe food. Let's go, dude. We started to worry, but Mary Jane found her way back to the shelter. There was no reason to worry about her old teacher. One thing she neglected to tell us is that she that he is a hardened war vet. He's doing just fine for himself. He was very happy to see Mary Jane alive and even shared some supplies with her. The trip really exhausted her, but at least her move. So this we have been getting so so many good events that are all focused on making Mary Jane either tired hurt or sick but because she is mutant she can't get sick or tired <laughs> so she's just like trucking along and tanking her way through getting millions of supplies for us insane all right so you need food or food right now and water tomorrow you don't need even anything this is crazy dude. so you need water tomorrow every five days um it took several days and not and a lot of silent cursing but dolores finally cracked the code impressive the note contained detailed directions for some secret location nearby, but it also says Dolores must show up alone. She says she's willing to go, but we can't help wondering if it's some sort of trap. I think this le this always ends up being good, because you spend so much work getting it. If this kills us, then you're a piece of crap. I'll do it. <laughs> this scared the shit out of me, that sound, did. You better be okay. Dolores is on her way. Let's hope she's fine. Hello, mutant. Hear that noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. The one that's been locked tight ever since we got to the shelter. So the question is, do we even do anything if it's mutant Mary Jane? She can't die, right? I don't think it's worth doing this because you cannot get hurt. But maybe it gives you something? I don't know if, if doing something here gives you an opportunity to get stuff. Cause if it, cause so far I've only ever had it be like, oh no, it's an alligator, and then nothing happens. I don't know what you do if you have mutant Mary Jane here, cause she cannot get hurt, which means that we can take more risks. Um, I just don't know if it's gonna like come out and break something. You got food when you use the flashlight. All right, let's try it. I mean, food would be amazing. You're not hungry, right? You're not hungry. All right, let's try flashlight. Please don't break it though, Mary. I swear to God. She's back. We kept the flashlight. Uh, if we didn't have the flashlight, it would probably be a meal for something that was down there. We're not sure, but its eyes look very reptilian, very vicious, and very, very hungry. Was that a dinosaur? The horse came back, looking relaxed and carrying extra supplies. Nose was ridden by her old friend, Peggy who now inhabits a shelter together with other work colleagues of Dolores. She claims it was some sort of secret secretary job from before she married Ted. It's weird how little we know about that time of her life. She's quite a private person, our dear Dolores, but clearly all these years ago, she made friendship for lives. These supplies will surely prove useful. We got two more food, dude. Let's go. We're in an insane spot. Okay. So I will give you food and water because I really don't want to lose. Uh, I will give you food too. Let's feed Mary Jane one more time and then we send her when she gets hungry the next time. Didn't get a clear set. We're not giving up our guns over my dead American body. Get out of here. It will not happen. We got so much food, I know. Maybe we don't even need to go on an expedition for a while now because we got so much. Uh, we decided to ignore stupid orders. Okay. You don't need food right now. No one needs anything tomorrow either. We're not doing this. We woke up dripping sound that. Wait. Notice there's something leaking from the pipes. That green liquid looped innocent enough. Even after it ate through the table and the chair and the floor, patching up that pipe is probably a good idea. So, this can give you Mutant Mary Jane, but we already have her. So, I think suitcase is just free. Because we don't need it anyway. So, no one needs anything tomorrow, by the way. Well, maybe Mary. Who can fix it? I mean, if the suitcase dies, we don't care. As long as we don't become sick. We didn't become sick. Our suitcase is gone. I don't give a shit. We grabbed our old suitcase and shoved it under the pipe. It seemed like all the liquid that was supposed to leak out did so during the night. On the bright side, we don't have to worry about the smell making us sick anymore. The downside, our suitcase is completely ruined. Don't care. Didn't ask. Uh, you're not hungry. Let's go. Played a game of list the things you hate the most. 
and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had to save inside his room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now it's time to finally find out, but who will do the honors of stealing the possessions of our arch nemesis? So this will make you hurt like 99% of the time, but because mutant Mary Jane can't get fucking hurt, she is gonna do it for free, right? <laughs> These are so many insane events, dude. Absolutely incredible. Mutant Mary Jane is going completely sicko mode. Let's go. What did we get? We got a suitcase back. <laughs> what the fuck? We marched into Ned's house and found the safe cracked open by the blast. Most of its content were destroyed, but we still salvaged something out of it. Ned was nowhere to be found. He likely perished in a radioactive in radioactive agony. All told, it was a good day. Okay, nice. You need nothing. You're not even hungry. Okay, no one needs stuff tomorrow. See the mysterious. No okay, so this is twins again, but we don't want a twins right now. Does she ever die? I don't know. I don't know if she can die. She, I know she can die by die by bandits, but I don't know if she can die on on expeditions. I don't think so. Um, do we need water? I feel like water. I'm gonna give you water right now just to keep it every five days, just to make that clear. And we have so much water anyway. If you're hungry. I will give you food immediately. Don't want to die. So let's wait one more food cycle. Uh, it's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while now. We checked all the closets and no one is hiding there. Is there something alive down here besides us? Maybe a rodent of some kind? If so, we need to show that we are dominant species. Um, didn't I use the axe last time, last time and nothing happened? Like the axe didn't break at all. So we should be fine unless we get unlucky this time, but let's find out. I mean, I don't know if we could have just done nothing and Mutant Mary Jane would have saved us. Don't break the axe, please. You didn't break the axe. Let's go. Nothing happened. Nice. We killed it. Uh, you're not hungry. Nice. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, hey, why not play some games there? Not for, not just for kids, you know? So no one is starving right now. Starving or dehydrating. We're going to do an expedition when she gets hungry. I think. Because we're... I feel like even if the, maybe if the bandits start attacking now, we will still lose. Uh, she's starving, so food tomorrow. I'm not sure. Favorite radio station stopped broadcasting, but we tried other frequencies. We found nothing but static. All are all of the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with the radio. So, I think not doing this can make you insane, which can kill us. Not having a radio doesn't really matter. So I think we're gonna do this, even though it can break the radio. I mean. I guess we could just risk it, but if she becomes insane, like, what the fuck can we do to fix it? I don't think there's a way to fix it. So, then we're screwed. So, I think we have to- I think we're- I think I'm gonna do this. We might break the radio, but so fucking be it. Uh, we feed her tomorrow. Yeah, you broke it, you fucking idiot. Dolores can't- Dolores can definitely become insane. Oh, was it just related to the cat ending? Can she only become crazy in the cat ending? Uh, it's fine, it's fine. We get food. Uh, your dumbass broke the radio. Well, it didn't go well. We broke the damn thing. Technology changes so fast these days. It's hard to keep up. Who needs a radio anyway? Uh, this is terrible. We can't sleep. Oh, come on. We've been problems with sleeping ever since we got down here, but now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenges that await us outside this thin shelter doors. Okay. What? She can definitely go crazy. So they're giving us all the events to try and make Dolores go crazy. We could always, if the cat comes back, we could accept the cat to heal her insanity, right? I don't want to give up the med kit. The med kit is amazing. Um, it's just a question, will Dolores become crazy and then we're fucked? I think I'm gonna just risk it because the med kit is so amazing. Please don't make her crazy. I've never had her become crazy outside. Okay, she's fine. She's totally fine. She's got this. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than... Oh, this makes you tired, but that doesn't matter. She is... Starving. Food today and water tomorrow every five... What the... Don't give you stuff. Okay. Enough of this plain tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of tea. Real blue... Real true blue American coffee. The kind that you can drink five cups and still feel sleepy. But there, where are we going to find that in this wasteland? Well, Dolores' favorite diner is uh, used to be a few blocks away. Maybe we should go on a coffee run. Well, 
Let's go. Uh, we give you... I'm pretty sure water tomorrow. Because we, we gave you water on day 60. Uh, so, sure. Let's go. You don't need any food, right? Nice. This is like... We've been getting so much value out of Mutant Mary Jane. Unbelievable. What did we get? Great, we got a whole pot of cold coffee. The taste is weird, and we don't have any sugar or milk to give it flavor, but it'll do. It's a step up from the bland, slightly irradiated water we've been drinking. The pot only held a few cups worth of coffee, and we gulped it all down in mere minutes. All of us are very alert and ready for anything for the next five or so minutes anyway. Wait. Nice! I got rid of her dehydration for free. <laughs> Let's go. All right, then. Let's go. Easy. She's hungry, so we give you food. Does that mean it's time to prepare expedition? I mean, we have so... Uh, let's do it. Let's just risk it. Wait. While Mary Jane was rummaging through our belongings, she found a single plant seed. We have no idea what kind of seed it is, but maybe it's the start of something great. If we are lucky, it might be an apple tree or a cherry tree. Let's do this again. I've only seen this event once before. And we ha it ne you need water and you can turn it into food, which is exactly what we want right now. So let's do it. Because we don't need fucking water. So we're sending Mary Jane on expedition. Uh, you don't need anything. Hell yeah. It also can make mutant Mary Jane. Really? Uh, we have a little... <laughs> Look at that. We got a, a little plant right there. Grow, little plant. Grow. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Soil seeds, water. We'll see what happens in a few days' time. I just hope these seeds don't turn into something... Some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic, though. Okay? You don't need anything. We're sending you on an expedition. Good luck, Mary. You got this. So you don't need anything tomorrow. This is like, this is actually, I played this game for so long. This is my favorite run ever. Just like the, <laughs> everything is just going perfect, which is usually not what happens when you're playing this game. Stuff will always go terribly wrong. Um, you need water tomorrow already. Interesting. There's a small muddy pond in the park nearby. Too bad we forgot our fishing rod. Perhaps we could try to fish something out of the nasty water with a suitcase. Sure. Let's try. I'm going to give you water right now because I'm a little scared and we have so much. I don't know what happens with the with the coffee. Can we get food? That'd be huge. We're already almost at this. Okay, the suitcase is gone again. We got cards. We have to admit we're counting on some kind of fish to enrich our tomato diet. This is what I have to do instead. Too bad the suitcase got ruined in the process. Okay. We the cards are better than the suitcase. We don't we'll give you food right now. I don't really care. We got a scare we got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted. When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it. You can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world. I mean, this shouldn't be able to kill us, right? So uh, unless the fucking safe explodes for no <laughs> no fucking reason. Day 69. Nice. What do we get? You get any food? We... <laughs> it's the eternal suitcase, dude. That's the second time that we use the suitcase. And the day after we get another one. <laughs> what the fuck? We're not sure how the map just decided to slide off the wall. But we're lucky that it happened. Inside the dusty safe, we found some supplies. What the fuck, dude? I can't get rid of this fucking thing, dude. It's haunted. <laughs> okay, she's fine. No, 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 doorstep. Okay, so we could do uh, twins, but we're not interested. Not yet. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? The mutated suitcase. He's still out. Oh, yeah, we sent her on expedition relatively recently. You still don't need anything. Today, we've met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. Okay, it's definitely worth it. So this can heal you. It's We have so much water. Might as well queue up another heal. So then if... Uh, Dolores ever gets hurt, we can heal with that instead. That seems super worth it. We don't need anything tomorrow. Let's go. Where's the mutant? She's uh, on uh, on expedition. Yeah, I never. Dude, look at the plant. It's growing. <laughs> little little plant, grow. Kill it. Kill the fly. Got them. I need to invest in a fly swatter. A bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyway. Okay. You need water tomorrow. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep. Claiming to take from the rich and give to the poor. Then fuck off, because we are rich as hell. 
Get out of here. Water tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's all. I mean, it's genuinely... I think I will just give her water every time she's dehydrated. It's just not worth the risk of me failing it. And I got a million water. Like, it's actually just taking a risk for literally no reason. I know it's it's totally fine. But it, there's just no point. She's back. <laughs> Look at the plant! What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Whoopsie. Feed me. Uh-oh. Wait, that's not what I wanted. You didn't answer those peculiar calls, blah, blah, blah. Nothing made us happy in the sight of Mary Jane returning. She got food and two water. Uh-oh. Can she kill it? Wait, let's give you... What did it say about tentacles? <laughs> tentacles? Tentacles everywhere. Is that a monster from Mars? Wait, they're not tentacles. It's a damn plant Mary Jane is growing. It has mutated and is out of control. Are those teeth? They're huge. We need to do something. <laughs> I guess we're fucking chopping it. I guess bug spray is better to use because we don't really need the bug spray. It's amazing. I think I use bug spray. I, I mean, the ax will definitely kill it, but it might also break the ax for no reason. I mean, it shouldn't, right? Oh, you can get food this way? Okay, that seems, that seems better then. We're gonna eat the crazy plant, dude. That's so good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Chop it. Yeah, I give food to you, right? Just making sure, because I really... Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Choppy, choppy. <laughs> oh, it's dead. Oh, no, we lost the axe. I mean, two food is totally worth the trade, though. Die, you plant thing. Die. Is this sharp enough for you? Chop, chop, phew. That was close. That was a close one. Without the axe, we would have been plant food, or would that make us fertilizer? Well, the joke is on that damn plant. Since we ended up harvesting some of it for food. That's still fine, though. Two food, we will be able to find an axe maybe another way. Um, you're starving for the first day. One of our cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea, but let's find out. Let's use the flashlight. Why is she purple? She's mutant. Don't tell me you broke the map there. Okay, you didn't. I love that Ted is just... We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. All right, unlucky. You get food. You're hungry, so you get more food. <clears throat> Seems awfully quiet outside. What is this? We're not big fans of our strange-smelling shelter, but when we started to smell something burning, we quickly realized how much we prefer that nothing is on... Nothing is on fire Said it had before. A fire! We need to put it out and save our supplies. We don't have time to save them all. What do we save? I feel like the first aid kit over the book. I know the book is amazing, but we cannot use it on expeditions. And the mech could just make sure that we can make it to 100 days. Especially with our freaking food situation being incredible as it is. So, I'm sorry, but rest in peace, handbook. Can't read if you're dead. 75? Our, our record right now is 78, so we're definitely gonna crush that. Unless something crazy happens. Wait. Didn't I give you food yesterday? I'm just gonna give you food and water again, because that scares me. Uh, you're not hungry. In conducting our daily supply count, we noticed that a soup can was missing. We're absolutely sure it was there just yesterday. That can only mean one thing. We have a soup thief among us. Now we just need to figure out who the culprit is. Well, it's probably Mary Jane. <laughs> but can she kill Dolores? Don't blame anyone. <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> what? I mean, this is... I don't know if we... Like, blaming Dolores might send Mary Jane to kill Dolores. Blaming Mary Jane might send Mary Jane to kill Dolores. If we don't blame anyone. But then we're gonna lose the soup can, though. <laughs> don't blame anyone. Alright, we won't blame anyone because it's a little too risky. It just sucks that we're gonna lose soup. But we're in a decent spot, so <laughs> let's be sick. It's just mutant Mary Jane is kind of terrifying. <laughs> He's going to kill someone. All right. Bye-bye, soup can. Wait, we didn't even... Whatever happened to our precious soup, we'll get, let it go. One can isn't worth the drama and arguments that would ensue. And we really don't have enough evidence to figure out who did it. Maybe we just made a mistake when counting. We'll never know for sure. But if someone did steal, then we're taking the secret to the grave. Hey, that's totally fine. Uh, you're hungry now, which means, I mean, honestly, in the state we're in, 
Since Mary Jane turned into well, we don't really know what she is. We're not even sure if she's herself anymore. She's been smiling all the time, but no one really tried to talk to her. No one dared. Should we try? So I've been... This one's very important, but I forgot which one you have to pick. <laughs> yes? No? No. I thought it was no, but I'm not sure. She might run away if you talk to her. No, 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 don't talk, don't talk to her. Okay, I'm doing no then. Do not talk. Both have chances to make her run away. No, come on, man. She can leave or make everyone hurt. She might run away on both options. Don't do that to me. I need her. Impossible event. Okay, this could be bad, but at least, I mean, even if she escapes now, we're fine because we got so much out of it. Please don't, please don't get out of here. Please don't leave me. No, you son of a bitch! Where'd she go? <laughs> we didn't do anything about the situation in the morning. Mary J was gone. So was the door she smashed. We didn't see that coming. Also, we need to repair that door. What the fuck, dude? The silence and the presence of what looks like a cross between a bear and a giant slug makes us feel a bit uneasy. You might even say we're on the straight road to insanity. Are you fucking joking? That's so rude. Is she crazy? Okay, she's not crazy. We can survive though. Honestly, I know we're sad for mutant, missing mutant Mary Jane, but look at our supply here. We are easily gonna get past 100 and we might even get further than that. Like I, I we could maybe even get to 120 or something. Or, f or I don't know. We can we can push our luck a little bit. After all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us until we notice it. And now we're about to get sick. So why not take the shower? Okay, you definitely need to do this one. Otherwise, you uh, get sick. And this can also heal you, but we're not in any trouble right now. So we're not doing that. We're obviously not going on an expedition. <laughs> hey, you you guys told me to do no. But I guess I guess it's just random. It can, it can go either way. That's unlucky. I don't know what the chances are on those. Um, okay, so we're totally fine. No, she's not hungry at all. So that's perfect. I've been hearing strange noises lately. It's coming from the outside. Or is it something that came into the shelter with us? Could it be... We found nothing. We feel like we might be going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied before it gets worse. Let's play some solitaire or whatever. Uh, I don't know if it matters which one. <laughs> it's just a 50-50. Wait, what? Oh, that was the cards being shuffled, you guys. It sounds like something tearing apart, but sure. It also looks like a very big deck of cards. I don't think that's a normal amount. Having some fun made us forget about. What was it again? Nice. Okay, I'm just giving you water every time you're dehydrated, because I don't give a shit. Um, okay. Wait, so we could... We could set another step on the road to... The twins ending here. And it might be safer to do twins ending than to do the military ending having to give up our uh our gun. So let's try this. And it's only the at worst case scenario, we risk one can of soup, which isn't the end of the world. So let's just try it. Especially now that we don't have to feed uh look at that. Day 80. Record crushed. Uh especially now that we don't have to f feed Mary Jane anymore. Authors of the note turned out to be the twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They greeted us happily and took us to a small tent where they started handing out the supplies we brought to a small group of hungry survivors. Between them were people of all ages, including children, the elderly, and even a mime. The siblings shook our hands and proclaimed this is the beginning of a new friendship. They promised to contact us again soon. All right. Starving. Get some food. Uh, so we have some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. I'm glad we have this. Otherwise, you lose the ammo here. Luckily... You get it back. It's interesting how some of these events are so screwed up because they like, <laughs> they, they're like a lot of balancing events in this game. When you're like doing too well, it throws something bad at you to make sure it <laughs> it turns the tide again. Uh, you're totally fine. Someone paid us a visit today. Wait, wait, wait. Huge trade. I think we want ax over bullets for sure. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor, eagerly showed us the items she'd brought along. I mean, that seems super useful because the axe can also be used in the twins ending, which 
we're apparently going for right now. Yeah, radio, you can't do both. You can only do one at a time. Um, and I think the axe is more important than the, than, than the radio. Especially now that we're not going for military anymore. You are totally fine. What? <laughs> Today we were visited by a strange looking little man who introduced himself as a trader. And since his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat, we can trade it back. <laughs> We can turn it back into ammo. I mean, I, sure, I guess we're going to get the radio as well. Here we go. <laughs> the least we can do is take a look at it. Sure, let's go. All right. Well, you guys wanted to get it. Now we get both. You don't need anything. He wants it back. The fuck? <laughs> we played the harmonica. Okay, well, there goes the radio. Nice. You need some water. Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us, to create beautiful sounds, to be shared with the world around us, to sing and play and have cute mutated animals come to our feet to listen, like a post-apocalyptic Snow White, shall we? Sure. Say, There's also a challenge, like an achievement, where you have to say yes every time and win. That sounds like a really fun thing to do as well. Wait, cockroaches? Be careful what you wish for. After a few minutes of playing, a small group of mutated cockroaches jumped out of the cracks in our walls. Uh-oh. And started moving to the rhythm of the song. They ran around in circles and shook their little antenna. It would be adorable if they weren't so disgusting. What are we supposed to do with them now? Uh-oh. Well, you're starving. You had a chance to meet the strangest person today. He looked just a man, like a man, except with triple the of hands necessary. We listen to a story about a group of folks just like him who are having a hard time scavenging supplies because of their appearance. People shoot first and ask questions li later. He offered us a deal. If we share some supplies with them, they will help us on our next expedition. Definitely. Because if we ever have to do another expedition, this is free. This means we will definitely survive, which I, did, I think that's the only way we will ever do another expedition is if we know we are safe. So that is, a, that is definitely a, a good get. Nice. 85, here we go. Triple digits, here we come. Uh, that's totally worth it. You need nothing. <clears throat> Mysterious sounds are coming from our radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Do we want to t No! <laughs> Don't tinker with it. This is how we lost the last one. Danny, thank you for the 14. You better not go crazy, I swear to God. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, it's totally all right. You need nothing. The funky roaches haven't really left us. To be fair, they aren't causing that much trouble. They even seem relatively friendly and curious. Just this morning, when we opened our eyes, we saw them standing in a perfect line right in front of us, as if they were waiting for something. Let's play the music. Doesn't Don't they give us food? I remember this gives you food. I got an achievement for this last time, I think. Yeah, what the fuck? If we can't beat them, join them. We figured the roaches are craving more of our music, so we fulfilled their unspoken request. They started joyfully prancing around, creating fun shapes on the floor. Then all of a sudden, they all left in one line. We thought the show was over, but they soon came back in a group, carrying supplies on their strong, mutated backs. Insane. Looks like we made some new friends. Disgusting, mutated, radioactive friends. Nice. That's amazing. I'll we'll be afraid the army would... Oh, come on. I don't think we do this right now. I, don't, I just don't want to get rid of the gun. It seems like we're not getting attacked by mutants or by um, bandits, but still. I'd rather do the twin sending, see what they want. And just save it. Which apparently, by the way, if you don't do an expedition for too long, the bandits will also eventually show up. But I think we did our last expedition like 20 days ago, so we're not... That's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, what was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies, all right? Use the axe and immediately break it, I guess. Don't do it. <clears throat> 80. We're going speed remote right now. You didn't break the axe. I appreciate that. Uh, we didn't get anything. Nice. You don't need shit. The siblings are back. You get the map. The group is growing bigger with each passing day as they pick up tired and hungry survivors and nurse them back to health. However, so far, they only have one tent and soon they will run our... our out out of space for everybody right now they're scouting the town looking for a good spot to build a bigger better camp bigger camp and they could really use that map uh let's do it i don't know if it's gonna use up the map but that's totally fine do we need to give you food we don't this is this is not an expedition right 90 i think we leave the next one on wait uh it didn't even break our map nice we were happy to see them again we quickly Handed them our map and pointed out. I think there's one more event after this that you need to do, and then it's the ending. 
Uh, so we, we are gonna not do the la the next one. They left before it got dark to still get a few hours of scouting in daylight, but they said they will be definitely be back again to share some news in a friendly chat. We hope they find a good place. Maybe we could visit them when the camp is ready. Uh, you need nothing. Last time we went out on an expedition, we noted an abandoned tank. No! This can explode and kill you. So no thank you. If I had mutant Mary Jane, this would be a perfect event, but I'm not gonna fucking do that. <laughs> that would be horrendous. I don't want to die. Excited against, uh, excited against it. You're dehydrated. A few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation systems have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating through the shelter. We have to fix it before we suffocate like rats trapped in a professional and very cruelly rat catch, cruel rat catcher. I guess we use this because I'd rather save the book because the book can be needed for the, um, for the twins ending. So we're saving that. And the bug spray really doesn't matter too much because you can turn it into a med kit if you do an expedition, but we already have a med kit. So that's pointless. All right, use that up. That's fine. Uh, we decided to spray the hell out of that van just to be on the safe side. Turned out it was the right thing to do. A couple of mutated insects fell out, followed by a gust of fresh air. Nice. You need nothing. A gang of thugs started banging on our door, ordering us to surrender and give up all of our supplies. How do we respond to these scumbags? Okay, here we go. So, I think using the padlock- no. I think we want to save the padlock because the padlock can allow you to do an expedition on your own without getting anything stolen from you. So let's use the gun. Harmonica? I mean, I, harmonica can be used twice. Are we sure about this? Sure. I guess. Alright, people are saying harmonica, let's do it. Don't kill me. We lived. We lived. It, it, it's, it's still available. They lowered down their weapons and cried a few tears. Surprised by the beauty of our music, they will let us live today. Okay, nice. Starving. It worked out. Good job. Oh, Bob, we put that radio to good use. Something might be on the air. I mean, might as well. Nice. That was scary. 94, we're almost there. Oh, come on. Why do you keep bringing the fucking radio? <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, something blew up inside the radio? How the fuck do you- you suck at this, Dolores? Well, alright then. Unlucky. Uh, we're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. You know there's a group of elderly people hiding- Okay, we can't do this. So, if we say yes here, we will get for supplies, but it will stop the twins ending. And we cannot stop the twins ending because we don't have a radio to do the military ending anymore. So let's not do it. We're not we're not going for military. We're going for twins. And we also have a ton of supplies anyway. So let's just play it safe. Because we could survive a lot more days with this anyway. Uh, I mean, I guess we... I guess we will have... I mean, we really need to get another met... Or another radio then somehow, which... I don't know how we would get that, because what other ending can we get if we ruin the twins here? I think, I think we just, I mean, I think we just play it safe. I think we play it safe. Yeah, as long as we have, we have a lot of supplies. We have a free expedition, I know. But still. Uh, we're not doing it, we're not bandits. Do you need anything? You need water. A knock on the door is not something to take lightly these days. So when a man came to our doorstep offering us a highly profitable game of cards, we weren't too convinced. Two soup cans in a card game. I mean... Does it... Do, do, what do you guys think? Are you feeling lucky today? <laughs> we could do it. Yes, you're feeling lucky? Nah, send it. Yes, no, yes, no, skip. <laughs> Cat or dog ending. <laughs> Display it safe. You feel like... I have never lost this event. I don't think so. Double it and give it to the next guy. Not worth it. I see many people say no now. <laughs> I jinxed it. I have lost it. The problem is we have way more f water than we have food. So if we ruin our food right now, then we're in like, I think this is basically perfectly balanced as is. Do it. All right, we can always go on another expedition. Let's fucking risk it for the biscuit. Okay, here we go. 
please. Did it, do I need food? No. All right, come on. Don't fuck me over. Let's go. Wait, no, never mind. It was bad. Uh, the box is gone. No! <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! I thought I won, but I lost! <laughs> Never mind. Alright. It was, it was about to happen. Our luck's, uh, luck. Oh no! There's slugs again! What the fuck? I guess we shoot you this time. Uh oh. Are we used to harmonica? Well, this is. I mean, I guess we're making it to 100 days. <laughs> but not much more than that. <gasps> harmonica again? No, but it's gonna get used up, right? I don't wanna. No, no, no. Really? Harmonica? Okay, sure, I guess. If this kills me, I'm blaming all of you guys. It did get used up, okay. We live to see another day. Our attempt at producing beautiful, sorrowful music that would soften their hearts resulted in a cacophony of hellish sounds instead. The attacker ran away, covering their ears. They will probably be back, okay? This is problematic. I guess it doesn't really matter that we lost... Yeah, that a strange herd of animals stampeding just above our heads across what used to be our beautiful lawn. They're not getting away with that. It might be the perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. I don't think this is worth it. We could do an expedition. I mean, unless that one can't kill you. We could do a free expedition to get past... I kind of want to get to 100 days. Let's get to 100 days and then do the expedition. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Because I want to actually see the 100 days instead of skipping over it. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. What? The fuck? Who came in? A hunting excursion sounds way too risky. What if these animals are not your average animals, but mutated spider lions or worse? Okay, that was fine. I scared the shit out of me. Guess what? We already got ourselves our very own Fallout Garden. Got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. No! Don't eat the uh, suspicious mushrooms. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> There's an achievement for getting to 100 days. I'm not sure. 99? It's just something I wanted to do. Also, our <laughs> you can see the fire damage. Uh, I, I, can, I would love to go through the achievements list and do like different runs to get different achievements. Like, try to go for all achievements in this game. I've been really loving playing this game. It's super... It's just like this... It is a really addictive, like, randomness to it. <laughs> Where you're just, like, constantly getting fucked over. Uh, and then it goes well. The friendly group of survivors is back, and this time with some good news, they succeeded. Okay, so we can do this, but it will go... It will make the ending happen, and we don't want to do the ending yet. So let's... I mean, actually... It will not make the ending happen yet, right? Because you have to wait for them to come back another time before the ending actually happens. So maybe it's worth doing this now so we ensure ourselves an ending because the bandits are attacking like over and over and over again right now. So I think I think it is. They won't it won't immediately lead to an ending, right? <laughs> yes, okay. I th I think I think this is this is the way to go. So we ensure that they will come back on time. Imagine. Day 100! Look at that! <laughs> Let's go. We gave up the checkerboard totally fine. Even playing with an incomplete set of checkers is a better choice for these kids than playing hide and seek in, a, in the radioactive wasteland. Or maybe the other way around. The group was grateful and we're sure the children will be too. We hope to see our friends again soon and find out more about their new campfire. Okay. Or camp life. So now... Uh, give, did we give you food yesterday? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an expedition, right? Let's do... Because we have the... The padlock. So we do expedition. Uh, and we have the mutants that will protect us. So we should be fine. So let's do expedition. Feed her right now. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Walk the surface like we used to. Smell the fumes and pollution. Ah, the scent of freedom we miss. All right, here we go. <laughs> I was here. 101, baby. Uh, we can take care of ourselves. You would really love to eat something? Didn't I give you food yesterday? I fed you yesterday, but sure. All right, you're going outside. What do we give you? Suitcase? Suitcase, cards, and book or something? Because it doesn't really matter, right? We just need to save the weapon. Maybe map as well. 
Let's go completely sicko mode. Give her the whole shebang. Because we know it's going to be a successful expedition. B. Barlow, thank you for the five gift subs. Uh, so let's just go for it. All right, here we go. Do a, do a big one. We skip straight to it. Meet the local law enforcement achievement? What? More achievements unlocked? Day 108, look at that. Uh, we kept most. The Lord's on our way to the service. Let's hope she'll make it back. We're glad to see the Lord's come back safely from the wasteland. The friendly group of mutants lent us a hand, as promised. Felt much safer with them around, and everybody made it back safe without a scratch. We hope we'll get a chance to meet that group again when we reached our local police station. We were surprised to find it staffed by police officers. That's an admirable call of duty right there. We couldn't say we knew any of them, but they had uniforms and badges, so surely they are the law in this part of the wasteland. Or it seems like they started writing it down for everyone to see. Exterior station walls are covered with some inspiring signs like New Order and the New World is Ours. <laughs> Policemen were quite nervous while we were around. After a short chat, they gave us some food and told us to go away and never mention what we saw to anyone. <laughs> An ammunition pack was lying just outside the station. Let's go. Now exploring the wasteland, we got a bit tired and we decided to take a short trip, st st short stop to rest. It's a good thing we took cards. Nowadays, there aren't that many things more relaxing than a round of solitaire under the greenish radioactive sky. When we were about to go, we noticed a few bottles stuck in a pile of junk. We lost the scout handbook. Feels bad, man. Uh, that's fine, though. All right, good stuff. You need nothing. We're obviously not going to do that. So this is what it comes down to. Sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies. Very few supplies? What do you mean? Uh, very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. We're not doing this because this is going to ruin the twins ending and then we're fucking dead. <laughs> we cannot do this. <laughs> Imagine we ruin the twins ending now and then we get killed by bandits. <laughs> that would be so stupid. <laughs> it will not be done. We still got the mecha and everything. Obviously, we're not doing that. Okay, so you're totally fine. You know, there's a group of bandits kept out near kept near our shelter, but we're not exactly powerless. With a bit of luck and force, maybe we can show them that we're not being to be trifled with. We can just murder them all. It's a bit. It's worth a try, isn't it? No, it's not. Stay inside and stay safe, dummy. Unless this will, like, prevent them from attacking us later. I don't think this is a good idea, though. Let's not do it. <laughs> 110. Oh, they're gonna attack us now? Just leave me alone. We're just trying to s chill. All right, starving. A band of raiders at our doorstep, you son of a bitch. All right, we're shooting your ass. Wait, didn't we use the gun already? Or no, we used a harmonica last time. All right, you're getting shot. Come on. Beat the Fallout Shelter Survivor record? Wait, there is an achievement. Let's go. I got an achievement for 111 days. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, so you could use the gun. So that's what you guys were talking about. You can use the gun twice if you have ammunition. ammunition. So it used the ammunition instead of the gun. That's amazing. Okay, so we got <laughs> we got a new achievement. How many achievements do I have, by the way? I got 36 out of 60 achievements. How many people have that achievement? I'm kind of I'm kind of curious. Only three percent. Two percent have the cat achievement. Only four percent have the tank. Pro gamer. Apocalypse mode. Grab only what a real gamer needs. We should go through these achievements. I'm curious. Always say no and win. We should do these. Always say... We could do one video where we do... Always say no and always say yes in one video to see if we get what the differences are. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they will come back. We need to prepare. Yes, I know. Not your thirsty... Our sorry excuse for di dinner was interrupted by a raspy voice coming from outside saying, Wanna buy a rock? We calmly, we calmed down and we realized the voice belonged to old man Jim. We used to live in our town. Well, at least we think he did. We just never quite figured out where he stayed. We should probably answer his question. It's polite to keep people waiting like that. I think this always gives you good stuff. So let's just go for it. I'm pretty, I've never had this turn out bad. Does it? 
give me... No, I was hoping it would give me bullets. He opened the door and greeted the old man with a smile. He was eager to show us a bag filled with a rich choice of rocks and convinced us to take one for free for old time's sake. We agreed carefully, chose the best looking rock, and the man left. We can't complain. It's a good rock, really. Also, he claimed it brings luck. We'll see about that. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. You're about... No, we were about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat. We soon discovered it was something worse. Someone's at the door trying to pry it open. God damn it! So many fucking bandits. Okay, we definitely did too many expeditions with uh, Mutant Mary Jane, but it is what it is. Uh, Horace, thank you for the 11 months. Okay, so now the gun is broken, which is unfortunate. Not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The good question is, what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all of our ammo? We do hope it won't come to that. Otherwise, we might need to defend ourselves using knives and forks. Okay, we really hope that the fucking twins come back soon, because otherwise we're not going to get... We're not going to win. We're going to die. Uh, come on. A young singer approached our shelter this morning and covered by two different guitars, a big backpack, and a weird contraption holding up a harmonica in front of his face. He asked us for supplies in exchange for a folk song or two. Uh, we could get a radio from this, right? I'll give you water. Why not? You don't need anything. Not that we really need the radio. But... Yep, we got a radio again. <laughs> Thank you so much. His song is brought tears to our eyes with good talented Americans like that. Hopefully the times are changing for the better soon. The sound of his guitar kept blowing in the wind towards us as he was walking away. Our love for his music moved him so much, he even gifted us a working radio. Nice. Starving. No! Come on! Twins, please! <laughs> please! We need you to come back. Come on. This is every other day we're getting fucking attacked, dude. Lock? I mean, I guess we used the lock this time. It doesn't really matter. Come on, please. Please. I need to come back. For the love of God. We have so many protective equipment, too. Uh, he didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad the padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. Come on, please. Please. We couldn't get a clear signal from the radio. We don't have a gun, right? Mm. Wait, they need us to have a gun so we can get rid of the gun? What a fucking stupid... <laughs> we don't have a gun. It should count, right? <laughs> Why is that so dumb? I th that doesn't work like how I expected. Does that count? Or will it say like, no? What? I don't get it. Wait, is this the twins? Since we didn't have a gun to begin with, soldiers shouldn't have any issue with us. Let's go. So it does work. Okay, never mind. It does work like that. Um, I think that might be the twins. If there's one way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on a shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. I think this is the twins. I think this is the twins. I'm pretty sure. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Do we pray? House is ending? Okay, let's see. Day 116, baby. Here we go. Wait, that, that better be a good ending. Let's go! <laughs> Day 116, and we win the game. Look at that one. Now, obviously, we could uh, try a crazier record in the future. Uh, for so long, we thought the world had really turned into a cruel, unforgiving, and hopeless place. But today, our view on it were changed when the siblings and a few other people from their group visited us with an invitation to come live with them in their freshly built, fully functional camp. This is our chance to have a normal life again, being between friend, friendly and good people, taking care of each other during the good and the bad, and uniting together against the evils of the wasteland. This is an emotional moment for us, and a time to leave our dark but cozy shelter on a way to a brighter future. Farewell. Our humble little home. We're starting a new life today. Uh, we sure held out for 117 days. Absolutely insane run. And by far my personal best. My last one was like 78 when we got the cat ending. Uh, so yeah, I would love to try more crazier things. I think the yes doing... So there's two things I for sure want to do. One, where I want to try and survive with only the people, but no food whatsoever. So, or like no supplies at all. or So we take everyone into the shelter. Or maybe just one person. I'm not sure how we do that. Either one person or everyone. I don't know. And then we don't take anything else. And then try to win. Something like that. 
Uh, and then the other one is only say yes and only say no. In and let's see which one of those we can we can actually make it to an ending. Uh, but how could you get an ending while only saying no? Wait a minute, that's really hard because you can't say yes to opening the door, for example. Wait, how the fuck would you even do that? A thousand days is definitely impossible. No one has done that ever. I think the record is like around 400, which is really freaking hard. Um, maybe the cat ending, I guess you would have to do. I guess you would have to do the cat's ending. That would be really freaking hard. We could try that, though. But anyway, let me know. Obviously, we won this one, which was an incredible run. Let me know what other things you want to see me try in the future in this game. Hope you enjoyed that one. I had a ton of fun. I freaking love this game. Uh, if you didn't already see it, I have also played 60 Parsecs, which is the sequel to this game, which I really enjoyed that game. I know it was not... Like, the game has didn't get as popular as this game, but I definitely very much enjoyed that one. I think it's slightly easier than this one, but it has way more endings as far as i've been told uh, and we already saw like a few endings in the videos we made on it so make sure to check that out if you enjoyed this but anyway hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join i love the games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash so we'll click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> dude seven successful expeditions yes decisions 12 no decision i still made eight no decisions that would be very interesting. Winning with no would have to basically be cat ending. Alrighty, well, uh, thank you guys so much for chilling out. Hopefully, I don't know, someone said earlier that Zeker said that tomorrow would be the update. Maybe it'll be? Who knows? We're gonna... I'm gonna keep an eye on the on the Steam, Steam page. Thank you guys so much for chilling today. Hope you had a fun time. I know I did. If you wanna watch some more of me, I will link you the video from earlier today. I'm lost in my... There we go. This is... Uh, the continuation of Not Tonight, which you if you're watching on YouTube, you might not have seen this because I had to unlist all the streams because they were copyrighted. So check this out if you didn't already see it. Uh, hope you enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you tomorrow, YouTube. Have a good one. Thank you for watching, YouTube. All right. If you're watching over on Twitch and you want to check out Not Tonight, you can watch this video right here. Yeah, that was awesome. That was two insane runs. The cat ending, which I was very much looking forward to. The true cat ending. And over 100 day survival. We got it. We still have more to try, though. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for chilling. Hope you had a fun time. Let's go find some of the raid before we leave. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. Psycho is playing the fucking stupid... <laughs> stupid train game. Remember that one? <laughs> Fuck that game. The fractured mind game. That was so bad. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Why don't we go say hi to Psycho? He, God knows he needs some fucking company if he wants to have fun in this game. So let's go say hi to Psycho to make it a... I mean, he seems to be in the interesting section. So, like, <laughs> he has made it through the boring part. And he is now in the fun part, so... <laughs> We should be fine. It's just the first 20 minutes of this game is literally nothing. You just walk and do nothing. And then the last 15 minutes are fun, which he is in the fun part. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for having fun with me today. Thank you for helping me out with all the tips, by the way. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, everyone. See you. See you. Sleep well.